All right. Now I should be audible. And the game didn't crash. Woohoo! Technical difficulties solved for now. Excellent. Um, so, this is The Mind's Eclipse. I played a couple of hours of it two weeks ago. Um, strange game, sci-fi, beautiful art. Um, we're gonna see how well I remember where we are. We'd gotten away from, let's see, we started in a hospital, um, made it into a primary sort of town on Europa? Some moon of Jupiter. Uh, and are kind of moseying through this ghost town. Found a statue of myself. I don't remember... Like, my character does not remember uh, how this whole situation came to be. Like, how I got to be famous and stuff like that. So we're sort of discovering this. Uh, I have a cat. <laughs> um, sort of discovering this as we go. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the cool, the way that they signify focus with the pixels. So, I think I just left the courtyard with the statue. So, I'm just gonna start clicking on things. Alright, so, a billboard advertisement spans the building. Wait, was this the dead woman at the base of my statue? That's a good question. Yeah, graffiti is about the, um, the eclipse, is what that symbol is. The sun fading behind a thing. Um, more abandoned vehicles sit here without drivers. Come on over here, Jackie. You can't climb up on me this way. Some cars are wrecked. Others appear abandoned mid-commute. This car's unlocked. There's no drive away option, because this is not a place I should be. Uh, the vehicle's onboard computer is still operational. It's not a war. Ko says, I don't understand, Pravia. You said we should resist the eclipse any way we can. Pravia says, I never said that. There's a line, and you crossed it last night. The second we become violent is the second we get wiped out. Co says, wake up, Pravia. It's already a war. Or do you think Campbell's disappearing people... Do you think Campbell's disappearing people just to make them dinner and dessert? Pravia says, it's not a war, Co. And we need to keep it that way, or else. So I'm Campbell, or at least I think I'm Campbell. John Campbell. Very generic name. Uh, a doctor at the facility that I just left. Uh, but I seem to be missing, like, two decades of memory? It's a substantial amount of time. Um, Alex C. Second time's a charm. Oliver, where on earth did you get azaleas on the core? I'm impressed. It might be the worst speed date in the history of time, but you really, excuse the pun, eclipsed my expectations for a second date. I had a great time. Let's meet again soon. I'd love to see your shop, see what you build. Living toys. That sounds so adorable. So... Um, my work as a doctor, researcher, seems to have been around memories and grief and trauma, maybe particularly around whether you can change how grief is processed or something. I'm not sure. It's unclear, I think, at this point, um, but it's probably not good. So, opening the trunk, there's a collectible statue. Jonathan Campbell, founder of the Eclipse. Perfect gift for a friend or loved one. This commemorative statue of Dr. Jonathan Campbell is sure to inspire and comfort anyone lucky enough to own it. The statue depicts Dr. Campbell holding the hand of Pravia Valhamari, the beneficiary of one of Campbell's earliest medical achievements. But all the good doctor can see now is the eclipse, the greatest hope for the human race. So show your support for the eclipse today. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, so Pravia is clearly not a child in the email or so, that we're seeing uh, so this is hmm all right yeah so I've got that there what is this solar system map okay 
Interesting. The Free Colonies. That's right, Elm Research Station is separate from the rest of the stuff, politically. Okay. Let's see what this is. This... This is what drew me here. Uh oh Ah. The men of Earth came went to the healer. They asked, what is it that you seek? And the healer, he said, the Talos of humanity. And they asked, inquired, what is the end of humanity? The healer said, think of your greatest fear. What? The healer? Answer. Ooh. The eclipse of their greatest fear? Or the eclipse was about the fate of humanity? It depends on who you ask, clearly. Some people are obviously afraid of it, but... These also aren't mutually exclusive. Oh. Thank you, Greg. Ooh. I don't know what to pick. Okay. Uh, let's say it was about the fate of humanity. Indeed, the fate purpose. Have you forgotten? I, was I trying to protect the human race? Yes, true. Protection from the greatest threat. What threat? What is the sickness? Shit, I forgot about the sickness. They came to the healer and said, You are the only one who can save us. The healer asked, Why is that? The people said, You understand what looms ahead. The healer replied, It is only because I look behind that I can see ahead. Shit. Alright. A large fountain sits before the giant hall. Water pours from the center. Alright, I guess I have to go... Did I already click this? A large chasm runs through here. You peer over the edge into the depths. Cars. And bodies? Like they just drove off the road. What happened to these people? They heard new my songs, but the others betrayed them. It's a good question, Greg. The gardener and the traitor hurled cast hurled them cast them into the depths. The gardener and the traitor. Your songs called them? The signal for you. I called for you. But they came were delivered instead. The traitor interfered. She failed. The eclipse is here now. But it must needs protect us, her. Hmm. I don't know how to trigger Sassy Bot. I do think I think Sassy Bot and I had her had a falling out and that's when Big Face moved in. I think Pravi is the traitor. I think so. Unless... I mean, who else has been... prevalent enough? Dinesh's dad. I feel like some of the early stuff involved... more people, but it's really just been Pravia through and through. This bridge leads to an impressive building emblazoned with the eclipse. It, ap it appears plant-like in nature. Damn, the bridge is out. You continue searching and find a small sign. The Life Bridge. The Life Bridge is one of the greatest marvels of the core, featuring the intersection of science and art. <laughs> the intersection. Uh, the bridge is an or orgosynthetic structure that blends earth-based flora and modern nanite technology. That's right. Nanites in everything. In the food. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe I can find a way to repair the bridge. 
I should search for this arboretum. Okay, where have I already been? I'm gonna guess this is... Oh. Okay, that's adorbs. Oh, the living toys. Okay. Again, that girl. I gave her something from the shop. That's... Oliver's Living Toys. From the makers of Gary the Gorilla. Roar. I'm Nanite Free. Introducing Lorenzo the Lauren. The Lion. Jesus. Here we go. My friend Gary the Gorilla told me how cool it was at the core, so I came to visit him. Let's play. I'm Bosi compatible. Super cute. Living toys. This place must have been a huge hit with the kids, but it had to be expensive. Was everyone here wealthy? A large electric gorilla toy sits on the floor. This, yes, this was a gift. When was that? To whom? A discarded data pad lies on a pile of trashed flyers. Yes. Biomedical operating system everywhere. Went to the doctor. Prov. I went to the doctor today. It's always so surreal to see another physician. It's like they're afraid I'll see through their BS or something. And even worse, they get all spooked when I show up. My name is common enough, I guess, that they don't know who I am until I walk through the door. Sometimes I wish I could stay anonymous, especially when doing stuff like this. They ran a bunch of tests, told me not to worry. The sickness is rare these days. Don't look up symptoms on your BOCI, etc. All standard procedures. They'll call me when the results are ready. Dinner tonight? We're still on for seeing Alex, yeah? Uh, Oliver. A Benny. Same messages every week. Another deadbeat parent complaining that their kid is emotionally stunted because of that damn gorilla. It says on the instructions not to leave your little runt alone with a thing too long. It's not a it's not a replacement for parental supervision. Some neglected kids get obsessed with it and don't interact with their families. What do parents expect will happen if they're around the gorilla more than with their family? If you get any more of these, just delete them. Not worth the trouble. We should, however, make the warning on the box even larger. Schmidt. Schmidt says, Hey Oliver, I know you don't do lifelikes anymore, but I was hoping you could make an exception. I'll pay extra, a lot extra. I'm thinking something blonde. <laughs> Oliver, no lifelikes, no exceptions. Schmidt, come on, you're the best in the business. Oliver says, No, I'm not in that business anymore. Never wanted to be in the first place. Alex says, You must listen to me. Dear Oliver, I'm sorry about the last few weeks. A lot's been weighing on my mind. I've been speaking to Pravia, and I think she's right. This place isn't what I thought it would be. I used to be like you. I believed in the core. I believed in the eclipse. But time has changed my perspective. Pravia opened my eyes to the injustices of the people in the lower well, and even here in the upper well. Campbell has crossed the line and hurt, something dear, hurt someone dear to her. I know I can't stand back and let her take him on alone. A lot of shit is going to happen soon. Please close up the shop and hide. I can't promise it will end well. So, I think you're right, Greg. Well, of course there would be an electric teddy bear toy. I'm a little worried about this adult section over here. Not my first pick, but I bet they sell well. There are so many options here. Oh, whoa. It's sad. Uh, Ronald the Rhino. Oliver's living toys are something of a novelty, but for the richest families on the core, they're a necessary status symbol. Only the best for their children, and only the cutting edge of the newest technology of play. Gary the Gorilla, Dolly the Electric Sheep, really? And Ronald the Rhino, all examples of the wondrous technical achievement of Oliver Goldsworthy's toys. Enthusiasts are also able to make their own kits after taking special courses with the man himself. An electric sheep for the less adventurous? Look. Handprints. Makes sense that this place was popular with children. Well. 
Another deactivated robot sits in the corner. These models must have been very popular, but why are they all shut down? Because unicycles aren't as cool as people want them to be. Was it Elm? It's not Elm. Oh, okay, good. That robot did not take me to creepy sex doll place. Hmm. Alright. That's, that's a really cute little sheep, though. figure out where I did. Okay, this is where I came from. Okay. I'm gonna revisit this dead woman. Search the woman. The woman's been stabbed to death. You find an IT card. Alexandra Canthus. Alex C. Okay. So not <laughs> not Alex Campbell, who I was worried that uh, they were related. Okay. Poke in here a little bit. Laszlo. Laszlo. That's the other person I was thinking of. Other than Pravia. Hmm. Sandra, we can talk in person. Oliver. Oliver being the toy person? Yes. Boy. Alright. This is complicated. Alright. Let's go this way. Ooh. Whoa. The art in this game. Ah, this is just so cool. Alright, an abandoned security vehicle sits in the middle of the street. Its windshield and side windows are smashed. There must have been more fighting in this area. A protest? The Elm soldiers? Core police report. Uh, crime, shoplifting, theft. Found a VR junkie attempting to break into a closed body modification shop. He tried to tell me it was his store, but couldn't give the shop's name when asked. When pressed, he began to claim it was just this one time and that he needed one more credit. <laughs> his description matches that of an individual who's been stealing BOCI credit lines and other financial devices in the last few weeks. I booked him for further questioning. On the way, he kept going on about the eclipse. Don't judge me. What do you, of all all of you think the eclipse is. It's just one big VR in the sky, man. So and so on. Audio transcript. Market Street. We've got a 722 out by Installation Gamma. In Yeah, Installation Gamma. Over. Copy. What the hell are they doing out there? Over. Ice fishing. Over. <laughs> Do not copy. Did you say ice fishing? Over. Affirmative. Ice fishing. Fishing for what? They're on Europa, for crying out loud. Not sure they know what planet they're on. It's fair. Artesia, who is a famous somebody who's been slumming it on the planet. Uh, hey, Helen. Sorry it's been so long. Been having too much fun. I've got a great thing going here. It's a huge demand for some less than legal memories. Black market stuff. I've actually started making a good bit of money selling my memories of the sex scene from that stupid Night of the Passion flick. These morons don't want a sensi. They want the real thing. But hey, easy for me, right? Now I can collect an income without any agents or directors leeching off of me. I think I found my new home. It's not what I expected, but in many ways it's better. The freedom, the easy gig, and being able to escape at the sensory palace. It's perfect. Uh-oh. Search the trunk. I dropped data pad. Always access the data pad. <laughs> Probably an extremely witty email. Reply to an extremely witty email. No, Ellen, don't make me go back there again. I hate that cybernetic shop. Those prices drive me crazy. I could build a custom implant with all those features at 25% of the cost. Those assholes would charge an arm and a leg, literally, for something held together with chewing gum and string. Let's do something else. Oliver. Alex is disappearing into madness. I feel Alex slipping away from me. Slipping into something. She's so angry all the time. She'll lose her composure at the slightest provocation, and even yell at me. Then, minutes later, she'll be okay again. I'm truly afraid for her, and for me. She needs to see a therapist, but I can't persuade her to go. 
She's upset about the core, about Campbell, but whenever I ask why, it seems like she's just repeating conspiracy theories, things about Pravia or someone else. I love her so much, and I'd move the sun and all the planets for her. I just hope it's enough. Say hello, Jackie. Thank you. Uh, Mac, Operation Log 2. This is contact. Laszlo bought it. He really thinks I'm just here to catch up with him. What a lonely bastard. So far, security is looking pretty dense, but I should be able to plant the extractor close enough to the tower to find out exactly how Laszlo and Campbell have been using the investor's funds. With any luck, we can reverse engineer this place on Mars with no temperamental geniuses holding the tech hostage this time. Oh. We can reverse engineer this place on Mars with no temperamental geniuses holding the tech hostage this time. It's interesting. Okay. Listen. This person is covered with the same plants as those outside the eatery. They quiver slightly in your glitched vision. These plants, are they attracted to other biomass? A core soldier lies against the armored car. Uh, let's search the person first. Vines cover most of the man's torso. Closer inspection reveals that they are merging with a man's flesh. Is it the nanites in his system that the plants need? I think that's Kosi's face, yes. The interface fails. Huh, all right. Kosi, but without the faces, without the bodies. Oh, hello. The traitor. The Echo Sibling Child. Tried to ruin us, Jonathan. They tried to ruin you, or they opposed me? Difference is false. Were you and I on the same side? Only for her. For me. For us. If I'm in danger, then you must tell me. Where is this traitor and this... Echo. Come on somewhere, cat. Searching true results false. I cannot see since perceived them, but I feel the echo's shadow. They lurk, they plan, they betray. Was the traitor artificial intelligence? The traitor is, was, knew many forms. Machinist, artist, tinkerer, daughter. Backs up Pravia. Uh, what does this person want from me? I can't even remember who I am. I can save you just as I promised, John. I will lift the shroud of the traitor. The healer came to us and said, She is all I have. The eclipse is for her. None but her. Where's my wife at this point? What if she's not dead? Hmm. Us, we said. We can help, but time is finite. The healer asked, Where is death's sting now? Do you remember, recall the answer? No. <laughs> time running out, or the traitor was poison. Uh, it's like time was running out? We were short on time. Were, was, no longer. Time came and went. It is now irrelevant. The eclipse was a success. The healer asks if he is successful. Behold thy work. Oh shit. Everyone is gone. Searching. The tree. Elm. Went to the healer. They said, what you seek is madness. Such power is not for any man to hold. The healer said, it is not for a man, but for all mankind. Jackie, if you put your tail in my water, I'm going to be very upset. Your shopping supports the eclipse. Hmm. 
Okay. An advertisement for the eclipse. Gary the gorilla. Kids born with net bored with Neptunes, not old enough for VR. Features over a million lines of dialogue. Interactive encyclopedia. Super cuddly. Gary the gorilla is not a substitute for an actual Isaac Nanny model. Or parents. <laughs> or parents. Hmm. What is this? Custom Bosi. Sensory Palace. No. I went to the Sensory Palace. It was creepy. Too many colors. It's not how this world works. All right. Hmm. All right. Okay. So nothing else here. Let's see what this little room is. Surely something creepy. The plants from the street have grown through the cracked windows. A full body scanner. Must be something to allow customers to try fittings in store. You notice a small tool at the foot of the scanner. Locked out of your own house? Need to snoop in on your kids' browsing habits? Never fear! The Pantodynamic Universal Hacking Tool can get through any encrypted device there is. Keypads, door scanners, retinal locks, this tool is it all. Disclaimer, Panto Dynamic cannot break into devices secured with neural locking. Also, Panto Dynamic cannot be held responsible for any illegal activity done with this hacking tool. Only use this tool to unlock devices that you own. We will not bail you out of jail. I think, one, <laughs> what a sales pitch. Uh, this will definitely come in handy. So Panto Dynamic is like the only company in this game. And they aren't, they are obviously evil. Just evil. Uh, functional data terminal. <laughs> well, Roddy's Mod Shop Review. By Kimbro. Roddy is the man. I said I wanted a flip top but with two sides and he didn't even blink. I tried to get something similar on Luna and the guy told me it would be three weeks to get the needed equipment. Roddy had it waiting out back. Awesome work. Mod runs like a dream. Have my babies, Roddy. Then mod the hell out of them. Five out of five stars. Another review by Queez. <laughs> Roddy's shop is ruining my life. I told myself I would get just one ear done. Uh, but now I've got two ears, both eyes, my tongue, and my toenails all done up, and I'm gonna go bankrupt. Stop being such a godless rock star, please, for the sake of my credit account. Four out of five stars. Review by Yasmin Thomas Thompson. This place should be closed immediately, and Rod and all his staff should be arrested. They performed extensive body modifications on my daughter while she was underage and against my express wishes. Rod isn't an artist, he's a criminal. One out of five stars. Uh, mod shop safety tips. Roddy's safety tips. If something feels wrong two weeks after installation, let me know. Don't call your doctor first. Doctors always take the path of least resistance, which means losing your implant for no reason. Only allow approved programs and AIs inside your POSI. Hacks are uncommon, but they do happen. It's good safety tips. Uh, well, the last one's a good safety tip. Come on, cat. The whole don't talk to doctors, a little less so. Liber elegans better than real. Whoops, shit. Obviously, for the affluent. A shelf of cybernetic accessories. Electromechanical fluid, grease, and polishing utensils. Cybernetic scales. Some sort of body armor. 
shop offers a wide variety of different cybernetic options. Interesting. You're unsure what this object could be. It appears to be a more synthetic version of plants seen outside. Interesting. The cybernetic eyeballs stare back at you from the podium. Hmm. In a world where the Bosi implant can give me sight, these must be more of a status symbol. Closer inspection reveals a myriad of people, shapes, and sizes. A uh, faint movement can be seen, alerting you to the presence of nanites. These nanites are everywhere, even in the cybernetics. What happens when they run out of power? Is that what happened here? Something that killed the nanites? Would it destabilize this place? If so, there would be more bodies in the streets. Yeah, I think the question of where the people are hasn't been answered yet. This must be where the plants are coming from. Such variety. And judging by my bosi, most of this is synthetic. Synthetic life means organic. How did they pull this off? How did we pull this off? They came to the core to ask the healer, what is the meaning of life? And so the healer asked, what is the meaning of death? They cried, show us the way. The healer knows the way. Answer. Ugh, death is meaningless or life is everything. Um... I agree with either of these personally. Uh, I'm not sure this character agrees with death as meaningless, given the shenanigans involving his wife and grief and so on, so I'm gonna say life is everything. We must protect life. Is there anything more than that? Speculation error. What more? The people asked the healer, have you considered consequences? The healer replied, come back in, in a hundred years and I will show you. The people, non-believers, fretted, but we will be dead by then. Okay. Another dead soldier lies here. His face has been deformed as though burned by acid. The plants embrace his body. I should have made coffee. A notice. Welcome to the core arboretum. Warning, do not approach the tree sculptures. Nanites are extremely reactive and can overwhelm Bosi defenses. Upcoming exhibit, Amorphous Trees. The Core Arboretum is happy to announce a brand new exhibit by Master Alexandra Canthus. The exhibit titled Amorphous Trees will feature Canthus's excellent feats of uh, sculpting orgosynthetic structures. These structures will feature the same nanite technology pioneered by Dr. Jonathan Campbell and is the same that is currently used to sustain the life bridge. The very same technology is used across many fields, including cybernetics. Don't miss Canthus's talk on synthetic nature. Core Arboretum continues to support its mission of merging art and science. So, Canthus, Laszlo, Campbell. Hmm. So these trees really are nanite based. And the master sculptor, Alexandra Canthus, was this the dead woman at the base of my statue? It was. Such an alien tree. Turns out those are just avocados. It's been forgotten in the future. The large bulbs provide the only light here. A person could fit inside those things. Well, okay, not avocados. A civilian lies dead. No wounds are apparent. Search the person. Nothing of interest here. Statement on Bosia removal. I've heard rumblings that some citizens of the core are removing their Bosi implants. These individuals cite their distrust of the device or claim to do this as an act of resistance against the alleged lack of transparency regarding the eclipse. Such behavior is unacceptable in these modern times. 
the Bosi implant is essential for thwarting, thwarting rogue nanite systems. If people want to be angry with someone, be angry with Elm, who continue to use unethical nanite weapons to control the, the solar system. It's because of their malfeasance that Bosi implants are necessary in the first place. Persistent illegal removal will result in legal consequences. Only through the safety of our community will we achieve the eclipse. By me. Flowers. Ellen. Did you hear? They're removing the Memento Mori flowers from the Arboretum. They've been there so long, but because of the eclipse, people have been claiming they're too... complaining that they're too morbid. I think they're beautiful. We should move them to your garden. I spoke with Alex Canthus about it, and she'd love to find them a safe home. Let me know. By the way, how are you feeling? Still unwell? Maybe you should see a doctor. I know, I know. You are a doctor. But better safe than sorry, right? Because of the eclipse, people have been complaining they're too morbid. Okay. Interview with an artist, part one. Alexandra Canthus, thank you for sitting down to talk to me. Thank you. Tell me about your new work. It's the latest in my Bio Nanite series. Some call it an homage to my late colleague, Dr. Rushdie. That's a bit on the nose of a name. A less kind soul might call it a bastardization of Goldsworthy's later work. I think of it as a marriage of heaven and hell, Blake's little ditty as, ex as expressed through an arboretum. But which is heaven? Mother Nature that kills us with plagues and disasters? Nanites that we use to warp ourselves and our world into unrecognizable shapes? see what else we have. Huh. It's, it's creepy from the get-go. It's good. Miscellaneous gardening supplies occupy the shelves. Uh-oh. What is it? My house is going to look like when someone ever has to go through there. Nothing useful here. Wide variety of potted plants sit in neat little rows. The soil here is dry. These haven't been watered in quite some time. Follow the music. Uh-oh. He leaned down to inspect the man. His only wounds are extensive burns around his implant. Definitely a recurring theme. Was a nanite weapon released here to kill off the residents? That would explain the bodies, but there's so few here. Oliver. What are you saying? You don't like the eclipse? Alexandria. I'm just not that interested in it anymore. Oliver. I don't get it. Why come to Europa in that case? I mean, I'm glad you did. I'm just a bit confused. Alexandra. I'm not sure. It's nice in the abstract, but now I'm not sure I want it. Oliver. Who wouldn't want something like this? Interview with an artist, part two. Okay. So your work uses cutting-edge nanite technology to morph plants into shapes of your choosing. Is this an expression of domination over nature? C. If anything, I think it's the opposite. My feeble attempts to flex my muscles over nature only reinforce the fact that, despite all our technology and power, we are still just moles on her backside. That's quite an uncommon attitude here on the core. Look, Jonathan Campbell is my friend, a dear friend. I've known him for years, and he's been a very generous patron of mine. It's funny, actually. I think most people imagine artists are the ones with their heads in the clouds, but for people like him, I think it's the opposite. I don't think I can imagine what a world without death would look like. What kind of art could such a world produce? Core Canary prominent artist relocates to the core. Making headlines yet again, acclaimed artist Alexandra Canthus announced she will be relocating her studio to the core. I look forward to the creative freedom that Jonathan Campbell provides for the citizens of the core. Let's see. Canthus above is famous for her departure from common digital mediums such as VR sculpture in an attempt to reconnect the human experience to nature via the use of or orgosynthetic materials. Access the terminal. Pravia. Thank you for everything, Alex. 
Alex says, if by everything you mean using the trust you earned through decades of friendship with Jonathan Campbell to sneak those messages, to sneak messages under his nose, end quote, then you're welcome. Pravia, I'm sorry, if, if there was another way, Alex, there was no other way. I know that, you know that. Doesn't mean I feel good about it. So Pravia def definitely interfered, although, well, I mean, Alex did the interfering. I don't know. It's, it's a mess. Probably Pravia. Ultimately, though. Ellen. Hey, Pravia. Sorry I'm a bit late replying. Can we change plans tonight? Long day at the clinic. I'm really feeling... I'm feeling really worn down and just exhausted. One of the kids I was tending to passed away today. I just feel powerless. Sick, even. If you want to just come over here instead, I don't want to go anywhere. Oh. This guy, Alfonso. Uh, Father Urias. Dr. Jonathan Campbell is nothing short of a miracle worker, and I do not mean it to sound blasphemous when I say this. I had limited acquaintance with nanotechnology back when I studied biochemistry at the University of Sao Paulo. But this is so far beyond my rudimentary training that it's almost like encountering magic. It's nothing like you've ever seen. I can see why the people here venerate him so, He's a virtuoso, as a scientist, as a speaker, as a leader. Hearing him speak is almost like hearing Amos inveigh against the politicians of his day. Jackie. Alex, I did it. I killed them. I killed them all. I killed you. The flowers you gave me are so beautiful. I had to do it. There was no choice. It's chaos out there with the riot and the song. If I don't make it to the hospital, then consider this my last will and testament. Whoever's reading this, you are my witness. I can say with confidence that I only did what I thought was right. To stop Campbell, to help Pravia, the vine bridge, I retracted it. All those poor souls will meet their end at the bottom of that great chasm. I hope they can rest easy. I know deep down that I will save them from an even worse fate. Forgive me, Oliver. I'm so sorry. This is the only way I can save you. I will always love you. Canthus retracted the large bridge, and she killed all those people as they fled. I need to find the bridge controls. Maybe she controlled the bridge from her studio. Then I can finally wake my way into that giant hull. It must have some answers. Hmm. Oh. Large gardening tools line the wall. seeing this tail whipping around my face. Alright. Abandoned suitcases. Some people were trying to flee whatever happened. Assortment of clothes lie inside the first one. A particular tool is known as the mosquito. Whether it's famous or infamous depends on who you ask. Officially, this is the Pantodynamic Bose Interface Scrubber. Unofficially, it's a thing that sits between your Bose and a VR sim and lets you crank it up to 11. Ready for a magic carpet ride? Rod of Rod's Mod Shop. <laughs> Wanted poster flashes across the screen. Wanted. Pravia Valhamari. Engineering civil unrest, protesting the eclipse, removal of Bosi implants. Ah. Flee the traitor, return to us. So this is the traitor, Pravia. The traitor who threatened, who said to the healer, I reject all of you. The healer lamented, I do only what is good. But the traitor replied, by saving her, you serve yourself. The healer, finally angered, upset, said, I only serve her. Do you know, understand? Hannah. I tried to save Hannah. System search, results false. What? A fleeting moment, your greatest inspiration. The healer must remember his own words. Never again. 
Never again. Never again what? Stop speaking at riddles. The healer said, This is the end of all history. The, my, our, echo, us could no longer reply. The healer continued, Today I set humanity free. Am I free, John? I don't feel like you're free. Oh, suitcases. A crash transport. People must have been fleeing the core. More dead civilians here. All show extensive nanite damage. Lee. I'm telling you, they're listening to everything we say. Recording it. It's probably not safe to even use this application. Reyna. Who has time to listen to you and me talking about what we ate for dinner last night? Lee. Ever heard of the core operating system? Kosi? Listens to everything and everyone. He tells the tower what we're all doing and thinking. Reyna. So what? If I say Campbell's a lunatic, they're gonna come after me? Get real. Ellen. Oh, wise, dearest Pravia, near and dear to my heart. That's why we have to go. Your irritation at these dumb enhancements is hilarious. And come on, are you afraid they'll upsell you a third cyber arm? Hi, cat. Sorry, honey, I'm gonna be late getting home tonight. Oliver's here drinking late. I guess he and Alexandra, you know, the famous one with the eco sculptures, had some sort of spat and he's broken up about it. Don't want to leave him here alone. It's funny, those two can't seem to see they're perfect for each other. Or at least, she can't. The tinkerer and the gardener. Maybe they'll figure it out. Don't worry about me. He's just a moby talkative drunk. Going on about something Alex said about removing her bosie implant. Isn't that illegal? Yes, it's illegal, so let's put it in writing and ship it to a friend. Mac. Too bad you couldn't make it to lunch. Mistake's better than the real thing. <laughs> Laszlo, you get a lot of that here. Necessities of living in a snow globe on an ice moon, sadly. Still a million times better than the leather they called rations back on Mars. Affirmative, haha. -ha. Sorry you missed lunch. This place is a way of taking up all your time. A neon sign flickers down the street. I could definitely use a drink right about now. Genetic fashions. More advertisements and news feeds flash across the sign. More Gary the Gorilla. Okay. Oh, nice. A crash transport hangs out the window. You can see the pilot inside, obviously dead. The markings here. It was an elm transport ship. An odd plant sculpture. Guess this is the right place. Specimens in jars line the back wall. An artist and a botanist. Europa is so beautiful, you forget that it's a wasteland, quipped Jing Bai, the first human to land on the moon. Bai's words ring true. Europa may be easy on the eyes, but nothing can grow here. Hopes to find life beneath its icy surface were dashed when early deep sea probes found nothing. Efforts to terraform the moon resurged at the potential of E985 was realized. Hmm, was, I forget what, ele what was significant about that element, but the famous botanist turned artist uh, Acanthus has since worked closely with Campbell and the core to create synthetic plants, merging life and nanites. Small plants sit in a tray. Many are beginning to bud. Access the terminal. Ooh, yay! Access data first. Audio transcript. Bridge. Sarah, did you hear about the Valhamari family? The famous ones? Jen, what about them? Sarah, they're gone. They've disappeared. disappeared. Well, the parents at least. Jen, strange. Maybe they went back to Earth. They never seemed to like the eclipse. 
Sarah. That's just the thing. I heard they've been relocated. Maybe to one of Campbell's quarantines. Jen. Oh, Sarah. Sheesh. Don't tell me you actually believe in that nonsense. There are no quarantines on the core. Uh, another audio transcript. Pravia. The bridge is so beautiful. Alex's work here is phenomenal. Ellen. It's not really helping. I'm still distracted. Pravia. It'll be okay, Ellen. There's nothing you can do by worrying. Ellen. I know. I'm just scared, Prav. Pravia. It'll be okay. You'll be okay. And I'll always be here for you. On Francis Laszlo from Xavier. Francis Laszlo is a good man, I think. But I've never seen someone with such a manic intensity about him. Charismatic, too. If there was ever a true believer in the Eclipse, it's him. He's one of John's most devoted followers. I suppose I can understand that. With all the things he saw in the Nanite War, I'm sure he needed something to keep himself sane. And the Eclipse is that thing. In a way, he's just like John. I'm not sure where I fit in with all this, but I'm happy to be here on the core. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. I just hope I don't blow it. I'm sure I'll find my place. Alright, let's fuck with the bridge. Repairing life bridge? The repair process is working. Ooh. Okay, time to find out what is inside that hole. The plants in here are out of control. Alright. Let's go. Alright, looks sturdy enough. Do I... Where do I... How do I get in there? Bridge is now whole. Enter the Hall of the Eclipse. Uh oh. Do not leave us again, John. I can't stay here. We will not cross the bridge without you. Please, do not enter the hall. Our Echo will find you. And it will make all for naught. So I'm guessing the Echo is Sassy Bot. I must remember who I was. And become the healer once more. Must you? Otherwise, I don't know who to trust. Do not forget us, then. Do not forget your true daughter. When Mother died, he was shattered. And now it's all happening again. Let me liberate you. Aw, oh, hell no. Nah. I have seen this before. Hmm. Not surprising to see this here. The eclipse picture on the ground. It's beautiful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Black Death, 75 million. Smallpox, unknown. Malaria, unknown. Spanish flu, 100 million. The Nanite Conflict, 322 million. Liberation Wars, 305 million. Continue deeper into the hall. Words lie etched in the stone above the massive doorway. Let me liberate you. Let me liberate you from... From the oppression of our mortal condition. For there will always be one last disease. But starting today, all disease will pass into legend. I want to tell you about a world. A world without fear. A world without pain. Without loss. Without the specter we know as death. I want to tell you about the Eclipse. I love this art so much. I... Did I really build all of this? I think you did, my friend. Francis Laszlo. Testament, June 2nd. I was a medic in the Martian Light Infantry during the First Nanite War. I know firsthand how lives can be taken far too early. Now, on the core, Campbell has come up with something that will make history. Death has always been a bridge too far, but not anymore. I'm no longer a medic, powerless in my fight to stop suffering. 
Now, I'm part of the greatest endeavor in human history. I'll do whatever it takes to ensure Campbell succeeds. Come help us make history. Julia? My grandmother had a harder life than most. She lost her husband and her brother in the second Nanite War. One of her children, my aunt, was lost to the sickness at an early age, and yet she persevered. Living on the cusp of the Nano Era, she dreamt of a world without disease, without death. She told me that without the fear of death, we could finally be free. Jonathan Campbell now ushers us into that land from her dreams. Samuel Chobin. I was trapped inside this body, without hearing, without sight. Jonathan Campbell's Bosi implant came to the rescue. Now I can see, I can hear and see my daughters grow up. The eclipse isn't about cheating, it's about having choice. It's about knowing that you will never have to say goodbye until you're ready. Finally, we can be in control of our own fates. Some scoff at the notion of trying to live forever, but I have complete confidence in Campbell and his eclipse. Pravia. Oh, just a hall full of backstabbers. I can personally testify to John's ability to heal. I was born in the slums of Earth. It was there I lost my arms to the toxic remains of long-forgotten corporations. My parents had heard of a man whose technology could make someone whole again. Thanks to nanites and cybernetics, I can live a normal life. I can work, play, and love without fear of restraint. In the eclipse, cheating death, an ambitious dream, but if there's one person who could pull it off, it's Jonathan Campbell. Access the terminal. Luck. Intelligence is only one half of success, maybe less than that. Luck is the driving force in our universe, simple and unassuming. Is the intrasolar traitor any less intelligent than the Zoe Syncophants on the ELM Council? I doubt it. It's likely he's even smarter. So why isn't he in charge? Accidents of birth. Wealth, location, time period. That's it. As luck brings success, it also brings disaster. By luck, you might have come in contact with a legal pat you might come in contact with a legal lethal pathogen, or perhaps be born with a tiny error in your genome. All my life people have lauded my intelligence, but I know that most of my life has been determined by chance, and I hate it. Life is capricious, random, uncertain. But does it have to be this way? Must I accept that? Jonathan, Jonathan, dude, this is gonna end in tears. The sickness. Every moment I think about it, I wake up in a cold sweat and I hear you breathing next to me, but instead of relief, like from a bad dream, I'm consumed by dread. I'm afraid. You never think it'll happen to you. You think you're special somehow. We all do. I did. Despite my best efforts to remind myself that I'm no different from anyone else, I still couldn't force myself to learn this. But it's easy to see now. Anyone can get sick. Anyone. And even so, you never ever think it'll be you. How will I tell my father? He shouldn't have let this happen from Pravia. Is this how John felt when his wife died? This emptiness? I can feel the piece of me that's missing now, gone forever. This grief, it feels, like it, it feels like being afraid, but of what, I don't know. Just aimless, listless fear. Does it ever abate? I half feel I should ask him. Once we were close, but now. I was too late, I couldn't stop it. My grief turns to anger. Things could have been different. He didn't have to do this. He didn't have to make this happen. He should have let her die in peace. The eclipse is announced. Father Urias, I have tried to compose this message several times, uncertain how to begin. Last week, Jonathan Campbell announced a new project, the eclipse. His goal is to defeat death, to destroy it, to make humanity immortal. I find myself at a loss for words. My first reaction was entirely negative. What hubris. A young man made fun of me the other day. We're gonna put you out of a job, Father, he said. They do, do they not know that our faith is more than eternal life? It is not some pie in the sky. It is about living the best life, now and forever. And yet, my negativity has begun to subside. I remember the words of the Apostle. All things work together for good. 
perhaps a focus on eternal life would be good for them. Yeah, yeah. Ellen, Ellen is John's bio daughter, Pravia's partner. Do you think that Ellen is Kosi? Or the, the face we have been interacting with? Because the face was like, remember who your true daughter is. Okay. And then the Echo, we think, is sass I think a sassy bot. Who does seem to be gone now that we're in this place. In the town or whatever. Hey, Jackie. Get down. Oh, there's a door. A large glass elevator leads to the top of the hall. I helped all these people. Have they all... Have they gone and left me behind? Did the eclipse come and go? I think I take the elevator. Uh, a garden of tombstones and memorials. Okay, look, Jackie, you can't just scream into the microphone. Gregory Chaman. Ch Chamain. Who else? Victoria Ingalls. You stand at the top of the hall, yet the tower still dominates the skyline. You continue your search. Something drew you here. It tickles the back of your mind. And so you keep searching. Hannah Campbell, devoted wife and mother. Ellen Campbell. Ellen? Where's my daughter? Kosi. What have you done with my daughter? Oh, John. Ellen? Where are you? I'm here. Oh, okay. Back to Sassy Bot. Oh, L, of course. I died? How? How would this be? I only remember getting sick. The rest is a blur. When I woke, I was no longer Ellen. All of this around us, the eclipse, it worked? It turned you into an artificial intelligence? I'm not an AI. The nanites that poured from my implant. I'm just L now. Why the deception? Why didn't you just tell me? Hi, you can't remember anything, but I'm your dead daughter who's currently hanging out in your head. Does that sound as ridiculous to you as it does to me? But a more serious answer. I didn't know if I could trust you. I still don't know. Why wouldn't you trust me? Why would you trust- would you trust the man that built this? You are both loved and feared for your work on the Eclipse. And we need to fix this. Fix it. What if the Eclipse did work? I'm just a fragment, an echo, of who Ellen was. But what if part of Ellen, part of me, still remains? With Cozy? Can you hear their wailings, John? You think that's where everyone's gone? I don't know. I suspect it. But if so, we can fix this if we work together. Don't you remember the end? How you died? The guessing, the guessingler effect. <laughs> I hate that word. <laughs> what? Frederick. Old Earth, 2142. It's a phenomenon that has confounded neural engineers for decades. Upon dying, it's very difficult to recover memories near the time of someone's death. This is all so much to take in. We should keep moving. I've been warding off Kosi's advances. They've been getting stronger as we approach the tower. Where are we going? I know a path to the tower. 
and hopefully we can learn something along the way. We need to cut through the lower well. It's the quickest way. A narrow, dirty street stands before you. There's been more violence here. Welcome to the lower well. A place where those less fortunate try to make a better life for themselves. Less fortunate? From what I've seen, the core was an extravagant place to live. Not for everyone, John. Many came to catch a glimpse of the eclipse. Or walk the edge of what makes us human. Others simply came for healing. For your medicine. But many could not afford it. And they lived here? They existed here. There are some discarded data pads here. Pravia. It'll be time soon. Don't forget the radios and the couriers. Ying. Jeremy, I don't know if you'll get this, but I'm leaving the shop and coming over. My data terminal is acting crazy. It's pulling random data from the cloud. I'm seeing messages written by total strangers. I was wondering about that. No one else has raised the fact that there's some sort of major security problem here. Uh, is it happening now? Is Pravia really moving forward with it? Ellen. Told him. Prav. I told my father. It was so hard. He had tears in his eyes. He started pacing around, talking about medical treatment aloud, like he was talking to himself. He couldn't process it. I don't even really remember what I said. All I can remember is a mug on his desk with pencils in it. I kept looking at it because I couldn't look at him. Pravia. Hmm, okay. Francis. About Pravia. <laughs> to Ruiz. Pravia Valhamari is up to something. Campbell is too distracted with treating his daughter that he won't notice. And he's too blinded by love for her to think Pravia could disrupt everything. He thinks she'll agree with what he's doing because it's for Ellen's good. I'm not so sanguine. Keep your eye on her. If, if you think any of our doctors, scientists, or anyone else have been in contact with her, report them immediately. Laszlo. Hmm. All right. Wow. So many perished here in the streets. The fighting must have been worse here. Many of the shops are shuttered. Open the shutters. Shutters won't budge. Looks like there's an expectation of violence here. How so? The shops. Most are closed like people were anticipating this. Most of the shops in the marketplace were open. Abandoned, but open. The sign reads, To the tower, lower space well dock. All right. Okay. With the streets blocks, we'll need to cut through some of these buildings. L. Uh oh. That could not have been one of my memories. That memory, that was mine. I believe the nanites I control are entangling with your own and causing some overlap of memories. What are you, L? I'm just an echo of her, of Ellen. Uh oh. I used to live around here. It's probably causing these memories to surface. You lived in one of the poorer sections of the city? Yes. The glamorous upper rim was never my scene. But that doesn't matter anymore. Let's just keep moving. Was this whole place operated by robots? I doubt it. The use of robots fell out of favor on the core a long time ago. Why? They're difficult to maintain. Oh yeah, and their AI systems can develop sentience. One day, they're happily computing numbers, the next, plotting a robotic rebellion. Wait, what? I'm kidding. That only happened once. On Luna. 
Why are they here, then? These Isaacs we keep seeing are remnants of, from the old mining colony days. They were kept around, even though they were potentially dangerous. Most of these Isaacs gained sentience a long time ago. If they were going to do anything destructive, it would have happened by now. Besides, you need a bunch of them together for a proper robotic takeover. And I always got the feeling they never liked one another much. <laughs> really? Yeah. Once I was meeting Prov... You know what? Let's just keep moving. Search the robot. Hmm. Alright. Sergio says, that's it. I've had enough. Alton says, we're at ground zero for the most momentous event in the history of mankind. And you're just gonna leave? And do what? Bartend on Luna? Do cleanup in old Rio? I'm curious. What could possibly be more interesting than being here to witness the death of death itself? Sergio. So does your cult provide the robes or do you need to buy them on your own? It's a pretty good cut. Audio transcript. Lower well. Blake says, Nora, how are you feeling? Nora, better, but coming off that mod was unpleasant. Blake, I talked to Dr. Campbell. She said it was burning out your BOCI, and that it was receiving data at twice regular speed, and you could have died. Is this the first time you passed out? Nora, second. Blake, damn it, Nora, why didn't you go for help earlier? Nora, can't afford it. Blake, you can't help Adam or your family if you're dead. Please don't do this. Adler on Evolution. Even the devotees of the Eclipse look at me like I'm different now. I've crossed even their lines. Well, they're right. I am different. I'm better. <laughs> the modification. Skin grafts, ocular implants, neural restructuring. It's all so glorious. I can see things they can't, hear things they can't. I can see new colors. I can experience a sense beyond the five they're marooned with. I am the next step in their evolution. The future is always frightening to those who don't understand. But that's no matter. I'm a prophet of humanity's destiny. Who wants to live forever? That's ridiculous. I don't want immortality as a human. What good is that? Immortality will not be achieved through simply not dying. Immortality will be achieved by being the first of hum humanity's new heritage. I am something greater than even Campbell can see. Where is this motherfucker hanging out? This dude's weird. He needs to come out of the woodwork. I don't think he had a picture on the wall. You continue exploring the processing center. A crate sits on the abandoned forklift. Large lettering reads E-985. It should sound familiar. You discovered this stuff, after all. Technically, you realized it was important for advanced techno nanotechnology. But society generally credits you with the discovery. Why is it so important to nanotechnology? Now that's a question for Dr. Campbell. Small crystals lay around the crate. Uh, so we are ch like children playing with fire. Some doomsayers question humanity's tampering with the strange mineral found beneath the oceans of Europa. Religious groups cite that it is a gift from God. Conspiracy theorists claim it is proof of alien life. Either way, research at the core has only begun to scrape at the surface of knowledge for this, for this unique element. Though never disclosed, it's hypothesized that this element is crucial to the eclipse. Hmm. Ah, Ellen. Uh, Prov, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot about movie night. I haven't felt so great this past week, but I promise I'll make it up to you. I'll stop by later, by, later this afternoon. For now, it's back to sleep for me. Jonathan C. My fate in Europa's. The year I was born, element 985 was discovered on the distant frozen moon of Europa, and so it would be that our fates would be interwoven. It would, it would be much later, when I was still a research assist assistant, that I discovered the hidden potential of this new addition to the periodic table. Before me sat the answer of merging life and medicine, cell and nanite system. Before me sat a new era. Like the invention of dynamite, I knew there would be a dark and light side to this new world, but I forged ahead because I could not ignore my calling. The potential was too great to ignore. God and the Eclipse I have been reading about Matteo Ricci, one of my favorite, one of my heroes. 
Have you ever glanced over the true meaning of the Lord of Heaven? He tried to argue for tolerance of Chinese Confucian rites within our traditional theology. Pope Benedict XIV banned the rites in 1742, but then Pope Pius XII lifted the ban in 1939. Oh, don't trust anything that happened in 1939. Come on, guys. Why? What changed? Nazis. It doesn't seem to me to be based on anything other than the attitude of the time. The rites were compatible. They didn't change any dogmas. What if the eclipse is like this? Haven't we always preached about the coming of eternal life? Of the changing of the order of the cosmos? Of the wiping away of every tear? How do we know the eclipse is not what the Lord foretold? What dogma does it obviate? Never trust anything that happened in 1939. A storage bin sits amongst the other equipment. You open the bin. Bin, the lid is heavy. A bunch of discarded machinery. Dumpster diving? I'm hoping something, anything, will help trigger more memories. Yeah, sure. Can we just keep moving? I like that L has, like, this sense of purpose that I don't. We just need to go through here and make our way into the research park. The tower is at its epicenter. Tiny's General Supply Store. A woman lies dead amongst the other bodies. There are no gunshot wounds or blood of any kind. You turn the woman over looking carefully for wounds. Her face, just like the man in the hatch, it's been dissolved. Was it nanites? Claude. Alia says, Jerome was driving me crazy today. Whatever he was watching on his Bosi was far more interesting than what his mother was saying. I'm worried about his attention span. You know, they made it illegal on Luna to give kids that young Bosi implants. Or was it Mars? Wish we had it here. Claude. It's too late for our son anyway. Alia, don't joke like that. Claude, who's joking? On the lower well quarantine. Fighting illness or descent? The quarantine in the lower well, ostensibly created to help isolate and com combat some recent outbreak of the sickness, has drawn criticism not only for its treatment of the ill, but also for its purpose. Some outspoken figures have cited fraud at its implementation, have cried fraud at its implementation. Known anti-eclipse activist Pravia Valamare has alleged that the quarantine is nothing more than a cover for Dr. John Campbell's attempts to silence critics. In recent days, she's even claimed her own parents have been incarcerated as a result of Campbell's policies. Defenders of the quarantine continue to argue that it's necessary it's a necessary measure to prevent further spread of the terrible disease. So I have trouble with the timeline here, because, like, Pravia's on board, it's visible, uh, yeah, like, publicly on board with the eclipse, until when, right? Like, when does Ellen die or not die? When does this fracture happen? I don't quite understand that. More dead civilians mixed with security forces. Oh, hmm. If Ellen's early and thus an early eclipse attempt, I guess. Um, yeah, maybe. Alright, Gregory Isaac. Uh, do, 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 do. Pioneer in a field of robotics. Isaac's le uh, legacy has been controversial. Protests launched by both the political right and left have dominated the news feed. Activists have argued that Dr. Isaac's experiments with robots were immoral, that he was aware of their emerging sentience at the time. Right-wing critics have sought to have Isaac posthumously declared an enemy of Earth after the up robot uprisings last century. Defenders argue these claims are unfounded and unjustly, <laughs> unjustly judge Isaac in light of historical events over which he had no control. Interesting. You see a robot wandering around the barricade. Is that another Isaac model? Hello? Hey. Oh. Hello? The robot looks you up and down. You're alive. Could you help me? Uh, I'm looking for my family. 
Your family? The robot pauses momentarily as though calculating. Yes, I was caring for Peter Vesely, son of Lev and Kat Katerina. You were responsible for a child? Of course. I'm an Isaac, after all. We may not be as fancy as Gary the Gorilla, but some of us are still going strong. Well, I was actually hoping you could tell us what happened here. Have you just arrived on the station? I've just woken up a few hours ago. I was unconscious during everything that happened. I'm Jonathan Campbell, by the way. Don't say your name. What the hell? You've heard of me? Don't be so modest. Oh. I did not recognize you. Your Bosi signature is being scrambled by some sort of malware. I'd recommend a good, proper reformatting. You've got to be kidding me. But I digress. It seems we have a great deal in common. I awoke from my sleep cycle and everyone was already gone. The network has scrambled and I cannot find nor communicate with them. John, this might give us the opportunity to recover your memories. We can find out what happened here and how Kosi ties into all of this. And you're looking for the Vesely family. Yes, anything you can find out about them. I do not even I do not know if they're even alive. I recommend checking the local shipping platform. They may have left during the violence. I'll stay here in case they are wandering the streets looking for me. Alright. Anti-eclipse propaganda plasters the wall. Don't let the eclipse chain you. Well, at least free speech is alive and well. Sure. As long as you didn't get caught. Who enforced that, then? The tower? Francis Laszlo, specifically. And by extension, you. I see that not everyone was a fan. Alright. Uh... Oh, do we have to do this first? I think I've already gone through all this. Yeah. Well, damn. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. These are all... So the robot wants me to find family. Um, where did... Where did they think they would be? I was only paying a certain amount of attention. I want to go to the tower. Damn it. Um, shipping docks. Okay. Ta-da. Small spacecraft sits unattended on a docking platform. Wow. Too bad neither of us knows how to fly one of these. Fuel lines lie scattered across the dock. The victory of the eclipse is stenciled on the nose of the small spacecraft. Really? This bucket of junk? It's a small craft. How far can people get on this? A week, tops. If they had enough food and water, they could probably make it to the JRC. JRC? Jupiter Research Center. It's a station that orbits Jupiter collecting scientific information. Is it part of the core? No. It's an extension of Elm's Jovian Research Initiative. Or, so they say, maybe it's secretly a spy operation trying to steal your work. Wait, what? I'm just making fun of you. I remember when they announced the project. You were so pissed at them. Alright, let's keep moving. Small data terminal. Passenger log. Passengers do not include the Vasily family. Looks like the Vesleys were not due to leave on this craft. Maybe they took another one? Equipment crowds the dock. Most of it remains plugged into the spacecraft. A data pad. Screen is busted, but let's use it anyway. Francis, lock it down. 
Too many people are discussing leaving due to the new rise in tech technology tax. I need you to go down to the lower well and lock down the regional space dock. If we start losing people, this would sully the Eclipse's image. Tell them this comes directly from the tower. If they press, remind them that they should be respectful of the new curfew ordinances. The sickness does not discriminate who it takes. And don't bother Campbell with this. He has enough to worry about. Laszlo running the fucking revolution. Well, the not the unrevolution. Revolution against death. Uh, what did you expect, Laszlo? We decided to quarantine Dinesh Valhamari in her false pretense. I was at that meeting too when we discussed his counter message was too dangerous for the eclipse. It's only a matter of time before Pravia called bullshit on that and acted accordingly. She's a very capable woman and now we've made her an enemy. Lev, working late. Sorry, Kat. After working on the shift at the refinery tonight, I won't be home for dinner. Would you please read Peter his bedtime story? We're right at the part where Oberax gets his wings back from Plasmadusa and <laughs> pursues the creature into the caves. Peter might die of suspense if he doesn't find out what happens next. Don't worry about me. I hate having to work late, but Dinesh is going to bring in some food. He's working here late, too. I'm always thankful to have him as my supervisor. Francis, the future for us all. Campbell and I have these long conversations in his office. We talk about we talk about what the eclipse will be one day. I confessed openly that I wish there was a way for me to see my son there again. I know Campbell feels the same about his beloved wife. I'm devoted wholly to the cause, but if there's one thing that gives me pause, it's that we cannot save those who have already passed away. But John reminds me I still have so much to live for. Other children, other family. They will see the beautiful world, the one I help create, the paradise I will escort into this world. And I know this was what keeps him going too. Old battered suitcase lies on the ground. I pick up the suitcase. It's locked. A name tag catches your eye. Let's cut the lock. Lock offers little resistance. I use a surgical cutter. Inside you find some clothes and a letter. Polish, I'm guessing. Uh, in terms of suspicious activity on the core, sending a handwritten letter ranks between loitering in a dark alley and deleting your Bosi browsing history. This envelope appears to have been affixed with the symbol of the Memento Mori, a flower known for its short, beautiful bloom. The letter is written in another language, possibly the Traveler dialect. This is... bringing back memories of your childhood? What? Because you're so old. Bam. There's a leaf on the envelope. You remove the letter and read it. It's garbled, like someone wrote in a secret code. Hmm. Let's take this to Isaac and ask him. Show Isaac the letter. Hello. Good news, I hope. Actually, no one was at the dock. The passenger list for the last shuttle doesn't list the Vesely's. <laughs> oh, but we did find a suitcase with his handwritten letter. It appears to be written in some sort of code. Have you seen something like this before? No. If Lev wrote such letters, they were out of my sight. Well, damn. We'll keep looking, then. Come on over here, Jackie. We? Oh. Yes. I do recommend reformatting your BOSI. If Pravia is still around, she may be able to help you. Please let me know if you find any more information. I'll continue to wait here. The streets lead you through a narrow hall. Apartments? That's being generous. The Vesely's lived here? I'm not sure. Let's check around and see. Wall terminal blinks. Lev. Katarina, I'm worried. Dinesh didn't show up for work today. He's never missed a day, and there was no word or warning. I asked Jim if he knew where Dinesh was, and he looked at me like I was crazy and said to keep quiet. 
So the tower always hears you. What is he talking about? Have you heard anything? Maybe the core canary has an idea of what's going on? Pravia speech. Campbell says he wants to liberate you. Instead, he shackles you to this eclipse. You think you're free, but look around and you'll see chains everywhere. We are all dependent on his technology. We're all addicted to the things produced with his nanites. He talks about freedom, the power to do whatever we want, a world of the consequences of pain and suffering. But how free are we really? How free can our people be under constant surveillance? How private can we be when Campbell ultimately know more about, knows more about us than we do ourselves? How safe can we be when Kosi, the very entity created by Campbell, can read and see and hear all that we do? Jackie, don't put your wet self on things. It's gross. Just be a calm cat for an hour. Kosi has the ability to watch the core. Does it track us even now? I... Like I said, your work on the eclipse made you the idol of many. Others? How could they say that? The hall of the eclipse? It shows how my technology has helped. Not everyone benefits from your dream. You must have realized this by now. And this graffiti? Was it Elm? Or some other ungratefuls? Were they trying to deface me in front of my... my followers? Why am I drinking the Kool-Aid on this, like, awful thing? Like, these people are probably dead, right? Like... My followers... Jeez. Let's keep searching. We haven't felt much about Kosi. Many are unpolished and dirty. Hmm, alright. Let's look at some boots. A pair of work boots sits next to a nice floor mat. Inspect the boots. <laughs> the work boots are solid and have a nice weight to them. Doormat seems to be handmade. Mat is bulging. Flipping the mat reveals. Anti-nanite meds. Two nanite wars plagued humanity in recent history. They received their name from the widespread use of biological nanite weaponry. Entire military stations could be dismantled in hours given a large enough breach. Outback settlements disappeared overnight due to drifting rogue swarms. Before the invention of BOSI interfaces and nanite enhanced immune systems, civilians and soldiers had to, admit, had to administer scrubber nanites to clear their system of invasive foreign nanites. Medication to ward off foreign nanites. They must have known something was coming. Alright. Small, uh, small beds line the back wall. It's almost like a military bunk. Did people raise families here? Dude. Poorly maintained data terminal sits in the corner. Lev, I checked Peter out of school this morning. One of his classmates was found dead late last night. I guess it was a VR-related death. The kid was in the pod for, for too long. Peter didn't know her, but I figured I'd take him out for the day. Work was surprisingly reasonable about it. And frankly, I don't think he's missing much. This week they're reading Camel's biography, which we both know he gets enough of. It, and we both knew he gets enough of that living here. Missy, I got the job. Gail, that's great. It's downtown, right? Missy, yep, I'll be tidying some, tidying up some semi-famous mod designer's mini mansion. Gail, wait, you're a maid? Tell me you don't have to wear an outfit. Missy, it's very tasteful, I promise. Uh, forward, contact support. Miss Valhamari, my name is Lyra Moss. I'm forwarding an email below. They didn't respond. Is there any way you can help me with this? I don't have much, but I'll pay what I can. I can't work like this. Search me right from trying to make a quick buck. Nothing, no such thing as a free lunch. Hi, this is Lyra Moss. I signed up to fill out a survey last month, and since then I've been getting these ads that pop up right in my BOSI vision. 
I can't turn them off. I highly doubt this is legal. I request that you disable them immediately. I can't see with these pop-ups. I will contact core security if you don't make this stop. Eclipse propaganda covers the wall. Um, Child of the Eclipse. Alright, ignore the skeptics. Bring a tear to your eye. What? I don't mean no true, but you've been staring at that poster for a while now. Want to take it with us? No, I was just... Basking in the glory of Jonathan Campbell's words. I remember some of it now. The dedication of those around me. Even those that didn't have a lot. They had something in the eclipse. Or at least some of them did. A body lays crumpled against the wall. A suicide? Looks that way. And someone took his arm. But why? Looters? Potentially. He may have lost it before all this happened. In an accident? Yes, or it may have become defunct and he couldn't afford to repair it. In some cases, people here lease their cybernetics. So he may not have been able to make payments on it. Are you saying they just took his arm away? It's been known to happen here. A dead man wears a simple work uniform. It's covered with some sort of oily substance. Wires dangle from a man's empty arm socket. And a handgun sits next to him. The exit wound destroyed his bossy. of a young woman decorates the wall. This woman. I've seen her before. Her image has been all over Core. It's probably a... Pretty sure we've identified her by now. Wanted posters in the marketplace. Messages speaking out against the eclipse. Uh, this woman has led an uprising against me, and you knew her. Why haven't we discussed this? Let's be real for a minute, John. I know you've been reading fragments of people's messages. Surely you've stumbled across our love notes. I... What are you still hiding from me? The truth? It's hard to talk about these things. Ah, oh, cat. Especially because your memory is still damaged. Sometimes... It's as though I'm speaking to a different person than my father. Yes, dad is very bad at reading comprehension. And I don't know how you'll react, but for Pravia's uprising, most of it happened after I... died. Yes. I believe these events came after I passed. Or I simply cannot remember them. Why wouldn't you remember them? Oh my god, but the phenomenon and the stuff. How many times have you died, Dad? Your eye catches a hole in the wall behind the curtain. Something is behind is back behind the poster. Okay. He wants back in her solar system. Selling over 50 billion digital copies in its first week alone, the romance novel The Revenge of Pluto is the best-selling book of this century. The book follows the efforts of Pluto to win back the heart of Sol, whose friend named Yao persuaded her to part ways with him. The plot leads to a final confrontation between Pluto and his arch-rival, Eris, whom Yao was secretly in love with and who worked together to sabotage the harmonic beauty of Sol and Pluto's love. Critics have universally panned the work. Hmm. It's a trashy VR drama. Why was it hidden back here? There's a code here. It's complex. Maybe there's a decoder around somewhere. Chess game lies scattered over the floor. Oh. Thank you. Uh, large cabinets. Search the cabinets. Cabinets contain items neatly arranged, but there doesn't appear to be anything useful here. Closet is small, but takes up a significant amount of space. 
Is it key? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Garbled information on the screen. More secret code? Maybe. So, I need to find a decoder. How did you meet? Huh? How did you meet Pravia? Oh. The observation deck. The one on the corridor? Yes. I'd... Well, right. I would go there sometimes and gaze out at the stars. Mom traveled when she was younger. She'd tell me about all her stories. Hiking through the American wilderness, the seas of Luna, the Martian monuments. I maybe want to travel as well. So I'd go there after work and plan my next adventure amongst the stars. And that's when I met her. Okay, enough reminiscing about me. This won't help you recover your own memories. Children's paintings decorate the walls. Oh my. Oh, that's very cute. This must have been the Vesely's living quarters. Strange diagrams drape the wall. These look like a map of sorts. It's hard to make out some of the words. Is it in traveler dialect? What's that? An odd mixture of Russian and English came from the first colonists to travel the stars. And you know it? No. I prefer gardening, actually. Vesely? The family name is on the map. Maybe this is an evacuation plan? Could be. Some of the shapes are arranged like local streets. Yeah, so... Pravia was already linked to Campbell. I also thought that, that would have been when they would have met, because... Yeah. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. No. Help. Escape. Alright. Old data terminal sits in the corner. Katarina, I'm sorry to borrow you at, bother you at work, Lev, but I'm worried about Peter. He came home today with these drawings. I'm worried we're losing him to this place. Lev, what do you mean? Katarina, it seems like they're talking about the Eclipse, Kosi, and Campbell every day at school. It's like brainwashing. Like from before, when we were kids during the Nanite War. I don't think you have anything to be afraid of. Campbell is a doctor, not a dictator. Oh, Lev. You're so sweet. Audio transcript, lower well. Katika? You spent you spent how much at the VR arcade? The arcade, okay. Inio. I'm gonna get another paycheck this Thursday, babe. It's okay. Katika. I don't understand why you're doing this. You're either killing yourself at the nanite mine six days a week, or you're blowing the credits you make on daydreams. How are we supposed to live? And what about the eclipse? You think it's gonna be free? Inio, why wouldn't it be? Katika. Nothing is ever free. Not for us. From the desk of Jonathan Campbell. Message to the citizens of the Corps. From the desk of Jonathan Campbell. My dear friends, we are so close to achieving our dream. The eclipse will soon be a reality. In this crucial time, I ask that you, every man, woman, and child, help pitch in as we realize this vision of humanity's perfect future. I know I ask a lot. But I would not do so if I did not think you all capable. The timing is crucial. Even when we are willing, our bodies falter. But only for a little longer. The eclipse is coming. A large mattress leans against the bunk. Why the chaos? You pull back the mattress and find a small machine sitting on one of the beds. It's an enciphering machine. This little machine serves both to encipher and decipher. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. The message is input into its system. 
Without the cipher to translate it, there's no way to understand the contents of any enciphered message. Similar to the old technology used during the 20th century wars, this device is meant to thwart any form of electronic in, uh, interception. Looks like a decryption machine. Great, we already have the code for deciphering. But the machine looks busted. I know a place. It's down the street. Cramped apartments eventually give way to more streets. There's been less violence here, and still, there's no remains of anyone. Do you think they've all joined the Eclipse? I honestly don't know, John. Elm wouldn't have evacuated everyone. Or would they? If they wanted to seize your research, they could have created a fake disaster of some sort and convinced people to leave the station. But what about Kosi? What do you remember about it? Core operating system. You created this system to oversee all your research. John, we have to assume it's instrumental in the eclipse. When it appears in my mind, I see so many faces, and I hear many songs intertwined in a, distinct, a single distinct melody. We should hurry, John. <laughs> okay, this is the place. Try the gate. Surprisingly, the shutters are unlocked. Oh, looks like I can squeeze under here. What is this? It's probably a shop. It's enormous. She's quite the successful mechanic. Let's look for something to repair the decoder. A large robot sits on the floor. Wires and mechanical components spill from its body. What was this used for? Gardening! A gardening robot? For those who want the harvest but are too lazy to till the soil. This was actually supposed to be a present for me. Why? I was getting sick. We didn't want the garden to go to waste. Why not have the local kids help you out? They were afraid. Of what? The sickness. A large cabinet contains old Isaacs. These must have been kept around for spare parts. It feels odd. What do you mean? Isaacs became sentient a long time ago. These are... how to put it... dead? Then they don't need their bodies anymore? Why not preserve them for the ones left alive? You realize your face has become flush. Are you okay? I don't know. There's so much I don't remember. Is there anything you can do to help, Ellen? Help? Earlier, I saw one of your memories. Can you control that? Can you use that to help me remember? That could be dangerous. I... Let's finish helping the Isaac, and then we can talk. Oops. Cabinet is locked. You notice marks on the ground. It's maybe hiding something. Cabinet's rather heavy, but you're able to move it aside enough to squeeze through. A small cluttered room lies behind the cabinet. Wow. What could she be hiding here? Small pieces of equipment litter the floor. You pick up a piece of the equipment and turn it over in your hands. Dried blood. What are these? They appear to be Bosi implants. I assume the dried blood means they're used. Why would anyone remove them? Some people didn't like how they symbolized a reliance on the tower's technology. My technology? Yes. They wanted to break free from the need to have one. Kind of ironic for the man who proclaimed, let me liberate you. But more practically, people worried that the tower was spying on them. Or that they could be controlled via nanite manipulation. Is that even possible? I'm beginning to suspect the answer is yes. I can't see Cozy. But I can feel it. Trying to infiltrate your body constantly with four nanites. It's only become worse as we move closer to the tower. Kosi must be there. I bet that's where we'll find everyone. Oh no. Ah, oh, you're so sad. An ancient data screen is mounted on the wall. 
Frequency numbers flash on the screen, but the signals show no activity. She's monitoring something. Maybe it was the tower's movements? No, these are radio frequencies. Most people don't use that on the surface of Europa. High-speed optical communication is preferred. Then what, exactly? She may have been trying to contact ships in orbit on old military frequencies. Elm? Yes. I'm almost certain. The tower controls a lot of- whoops. Satellites, and so on. It's probably the only way to contact Elm. What could Elm offer her? Asylum? A makeshift surgical table stands in the middle of the crowded room. Dark material stains the surface. Very old data servers sit inside the walls. Yes. Let's connect. Audio transcript. Laura Well. Pravia. Ellen? Ellen? Can you hear me? Ellen. Oh, hi. Pravi? Pravia. I can barely hear you. Are you okay? I haven't been able to contact you, and I couldn't get into the hospital today. They wouldn't let me in. Is something happening? Ellen. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I saw a bird or two outside, and then there was water. I jumped overboard and saved the people. I didn't even know I could do that. I'm just in bed, and then I, but then I pulled them out of the ocean. They all needed me. They were going to drown without me. I had to take them up. I had to do it. Who else could do it? There wasn't anyone else. Pravia. Ellen, you're not making sense. The terror of eternity. Pravia speech. I can no longer... I can think of no greater terror than eternal life. Campbell does not create heaven. He is not eliminating greed, selfishness, hate, or wickedness. He simply uplifts them into a transcendent realm where they can never be destroyed. Campbell will freeze humanity as it is, leaving us with a static existence, unable to change, unable to grow. He thinks he's saving humanity, but in reality he dooms us all. I ask you this, should we fear death? No, not when we need it most. Without death, what would happen to humanity? Who would take away our cruelty, our cupidity, our depravity? Worse still, who would take away our oppressors, the tyrants, the dictators? When humanity is crushed beneath evil, death is there to save us from them. Our own deaths and theirs too. No one can escape it, not the best people, not the worst. The rich, the poor, the powerful, the weak. It gives us a way to measure time and reminds us, gives us hope that things will not always be this way. A world without death would be a world without justice. Uh, I think Pravi's right to resist this situation, but totally disagree with their attitudes on death. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I see her I see her point. Like I I understand what she means. This whole like death is what produces change by simple virtue of the people with those ideas not existing anymore. Um, I get that, but I don't think I agree that that's a complete enough picture to make a case for or against immortality. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay. Skim, skim, skim. Okay, so she speaks, she, Pravia, speaks publicly about resistance, but her motivation is because of Campbell's daughter, Ellen, who is dear to her. Ellen recently fell ill, and Pravia is doing her best to get people off the station before the eclipse. I fear her resistance will lead to violence. Pray for us. So yeah, it seems like as eclipse stuff is kicking off, Ellen gets sick, and there's enough time for Pravia to sort of switch sides. equipment seems to be stowed on every surface and in every corner. Alright. Let's go. A cluttered desk sits at the back of the shop. Search the documents. A large cybernetic arm sits beneath a mountain of drawers. 
So now I have an ancient Arto limb. War breeds innovation, and in the first Nanite war left many around soul maimed in its wake. Arto limb ink brought cheap prosthetics to the masses. Yes, cheap prosthetics to the masses of war victims across Seoul. Many of the old timers still keep their first Arto limbs to remind them how far the world has come. Modern day Arto limbs are not simply prosthetics. Rather, they meld with the body using nanite lattice integrations. Sensations like touch and pain are able to be felt as though they are organic. This looks ancient. Brilliant mechanic. Also really into collecting things. It was endearing. Okay. A large terminal sits on the wall. Dinesh. Note, uh, young man, I've told you before, but let me repeat myself. I am not some kind of anti-eclipse terrorist. I simply do not see eye to eye with John Campbell's dream, nor with his methods. But I have tremendous respect for him and what he's done for me and my family. We come from Earth, after all. I can see what Campbell's resisting, trying to fix. But I do not fear death, nor rage against it. I simply accept it as part of life, part of our journey. What you fail to realize is it's more is it's possible for more than one belief to coexist on this moon. We do not harm anyone. Now leave our shop alone and stop trying to sabotage Pravia's computer systems. She's smarter than you. You won't succeed. Try again and I will contact Core Security. Pravia, the real world. It isn't so much that my parents are against the eclipse as that they just don't care that much about it. It was always something too idealistic, maybe unrealistic to them. Whenever the news would play about it, my dad would just roll his eyes and go, That isn't the real world, Prov. I always thought they were just stuck in their ways. An older generation, unable to move with the times and the ways technology would develop. But I've realized now, there's a simple, vision, simple wisdom to their views. It's not the real world. It shouldn't be. Uh, audio transcript. Pravia, your dad told me the treatment is going better than expected. Ellen, I don't know. I feel like shit. Pravia, you don't believe him? He really cares about you, you know. Ellen, I know. He cared about my mother, too. And, well... <laughs> Pravia, what do you mean? Ellen, I'm just... I'm afraid I'll end up like she did. I don't want that. Tubes, wires, pain. Pravia, you won't. I won't let you. Ellen, promise? You can't promise that. Large schematics hang on the wall. Many depict complicated cybernetics. Alright, what is my mission? What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to fix the decoder. That's it. So, only small trinkets. I think I've missed anything here. Been through here. I got the arm. None of that. What's this? Pile of organized papers. Alright, schematic. The schematic is hard to understand. It appears to be a sequence of pathways, possibly for electric currents. Or is it some kind of map transcribed to the appearance of a mechanical device's inner workings? All that can be known from this is that it bears the same symbol, the memento mori flower, that is indicative of much of Pravia's work. You analyze the schematics and begin comparing them with the decoding machine. Oh, it looks like a laser diode burned out. I bet there's one in this shop somewhere. Actually, I know just the place. It's just across the street. A small clinic stands before you. Welcome, welcome. 
I present my lovely domain. It's, uh... Not up to your standards? Not everyone can own a tower, John. Oh, look. Oh, look for some medical equipment. Many of them have laser dives we can salvage. A full body diagnostic machine. You rip the panel off and find a plethora of laser diodes. Need parts for your child's second grade science project? What about your fifth grader's course on 20th century electronics? Pantodynamic has you covered with our expansive range, our expansive catalog of modern and retro electronics. Great. Now we can go back to Isaac and decode new messages we found. There's a shortcut if you go around back. Ah, bless you. Old computer. To Dr. Ellen Campbell, thank you for saving my little Miho, my angel, the smile of my soul. Uh, thank you. I want to take a moment of your time to thank you for all the good you do for us in Quad 7B. Uh, oh, the other one has come along to squawk. Hi, Greg the Cat. Pavia has not been able to visit Ellen. Okay. Decode new messages we found is a very non-linear game way to, to, to construct a sentences. Yeah, that's true. Oh, with art. Nightingale Award. Looks like you were popular around here. Yeah, it was really hard to work through being a celebrity at first. Then the people here realized I wanted to help them. Offered them something the Corps' main hospital couldn't. What is that? Compassion. What? Surely. Come on, John. No one wants to get poked and prodded by medbots. And have you heard the Nurse Isaacs tell jokes? Sometimes people just want to be healed. Sometimes they also want another person to talk to them. The people here really appreciated that. <laughs> the uh, Nurse Isaacs jokes. Yeah. Well. Oh, look at the dog. She did always like to spring a camera on me. You don't like photos? I just wanted to live in the moment. Photos always seem like a futile way to capture us. But I put up with her anyway. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I'm ready for this game to be over a little bit. The remnants of a large garden stands before you. Damn it. What is it? Just as I expected, the garden's ruined. No one was around to tend it. Right. I was too sick to do it. Oh. I understand the leaves on the letter. You do? Yeah. The leaves of the Memento Morris. And haven't we already... The flowers you see here. Pravia wrote the letter. I can't believe I didn't piece this together earlier. Of course, she'd use those flowers. They were the ones we've planted together. Small shrubs line the back fence. I guess Jackie's on camera now. large gate leads out one of the streets. Let's return to Isaac. We found a way to decode the letters. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Great. It's powered down. More like deactivated. What did this? Maybe the big swarm of nanites all over him? Come on. Just like people's Bosi implants. Yeah. I believe this is why the other Isaacs were deactivated. Well, let's decode those letters. Maybe they'll tell us something. Let's see. Before long, you're able to scan the letters and input the decryption code. After a long pause, the machine outputs the decrypted text on a small screen. 
Looks like Pravia was able to smuggle some of the families out of the core. And Elm. She brought Elm here. These people... She rallied them all against me. And many more were caught in the fighting. We still aren't closer to finding out anything about Cozy. Let's just keep moving. We can move towards the tower. It's the central locale for the Eclipse's research and development. I bet, it's the only, I bet the only way we can fix this is at the tower. Okay, point the way. Just head for the giant tower, John. There's a terror in eternity. You continue deeper into the well. Something pulls at the back of your mind, a question left unresolved. You mentioned she was a mechanic. What? You said she was a mechanic. What happened to her, Ellen? John. You know, don't you? Ellen, I can't remember who I am. And you speak of the love of your life like she's dead. I'm lost here. But you could help me, right? What you ask is dangerous, and it cannot be undone. I must know. I was there when they came to the hospital. And so were you. Because nothing would threaten your eclipse. There was so much anger. Oh. Was, wasn't there a woman in the dining room that had her arms removed? Filled with rage. Ooh. I lashed out. My eyes. You blinded me. Because my men killed her? Ellen. I... It cannot be undone, John. She's dead. Maybe we can go back to the hospital? We can retrieve her body. Try to salvage something. Anything. Ellen, if there's one person that can do that, it's me. You know that. You know I... Your brilliance built this place. In this place, the core, the tower, your people, they killed her. She's gone. Just let it go, John. You cannot save everyone. Okay. So I think I want to take a brief break and get some more water, get my cat situated. Um, so just two or three minutes, it'll be quick, and then we will resume. Hopefully, I can finish this. I feel like with the tower being the place, that got to be close to the end. Um, if it looks like it's going to take too long, we might break this up into a third segment. So, um, I will be right back.
right, I'm back. Let's get back in it. And see what the tower is like. I think I am good on audio. I'm on video. I have fresh water. A sign has been knocked over. It's old and rusted. Inspect the sign, flipping it over. Sickness pamphlets. The sickness, the simplicity of the, of the disease's name, reflects its ultimately deceptive danger. It's extremely difficult to detect and manifests no real symptoms until progression is far along. All cases have proven to be terminal. Religious groups view it as divine punishment for human pride. Medical experts are both frightened and awed by its immense capacity for evolution and destruction. The sickness is the dark shadow that has been cast over humanity for the past 200 years. My god, the train derailed. Bodies can be seen strewn across the landscape. Interesting. As you go deeper into the well, you become more impressed with the scale of the city that surrounds you. So many people lived here. And they were here for me. For the eclipse. Look, I feel like this is not going in a direction that's good. I feel like if you lose your memory and you step into a world and the world's not happy. And you're like, oh, they were here for me. That you're probably thinking about it wrong. Also, yes, it's a city, dad. Let's see. The tower. What's this? Industrial warehouses line the perimeter of the tower. Let's move on in. They wouldn't call it a city if it didn't have a lot of people. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> you continue on in silence. I do like these like light fixture things that they've had. More soldiers here. They died in some sort of firefight. Interface with the implant. Uh, when it all began. Diary, number 42. I've worked on the core for many years, and I've known Jonathan Campbell for even longer than that. But I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like his response to Hannah's death. At first, I remember seeing him prowl around his home for days afterwards. I'd saw eyes sullen, head drooping. So tired, so broken. He told me something I never forgot. That his grief felt, both physically and mentally, like a kind of terror. That he felt like shivering all the time, like hiding. But then, one day, I saw him beaming with a radiance unlike any other. There's passion, hope, exuberance. A sort of fire in his eyes. He said, Ruiz, I know what I have to do. The goal is so simple. I didn't know then, but I do now. That was the birth of the eclipse. Hmm. Uh, this is Contact Mac Grady reporting that Laszlo has no intentions of honoring the financial agreement made between Spade Corp and the Core. <laughs> or Spade Core and the Core. Um, the Nanite's hourglass functionality cannot be reproduced on Mars and, or elsewhere without a total reconstruction of the base code Laszlo's doing. He's smart. Always has been. I don't know. I don't think he's on to me, but he still thinks of me as a friend, and I suppose I did once, but now he just scares me. Him and his, him in this place he built with Campbell. I want to go home. Is my mission complete? <laughs> I get paid now, right? My wife will wonder when I'm coming back. I don't want to worry her. I want to go home. Uh-oh. I want to go home. I want to go. Oh, no. Laszlo. We've taken everything we need from him. How long has he been in there? Rusk. Looks like two hours. What do you want to do with him now, sir? Laszlo. Let him dream about a job well done and a juicy paycheck from his spade benefactors. He can't hurt the core if he can't wake up. Holy shit. It's rough. An armored personnel carrier stands parked on the side of the street. Elm soldier? El the Elm soldier has been shot to death. <laughs> um, Alfonso. Father Urias, I do not appreciate your tone. Who are you to make pronouncements about what is and is not and what is not heretical? You sound like Cardinal B 
Bellarmine standing in judgment over Galileo. Remember, most Jesuits were on Galileo's side. I have found a flock to minister to. They are small but devoted. I told them about my ideas about the eclipse and how it could be the fulfillment of our ancient hope for resurrection. We know that the Lord told us he would not come as we expect. This is not what we expected. I'm not suggesting the eclipse is superseding our faith. No, it is fulfilling it. All truth belongs to our Father in Heaven, our faith, and the Eclipse. I have had more converts this, mo this month than in years here. The mission is flowering. Secret signal from Adler. Something is about to happen. I can hear it. The tower is emitting some kind of signal. It's so subtle that most can't pick it up, but it's reverberating inside my head. I can only block it by pumping out more nanites to, bo to bolster my immune system. But what the hell is it? I know everything on this station. I can hear every time a new song is played on someone's oral implant. See a new face that see every new face that arrives on the core. I thought I'd seen it all, but this is something new. So far, no one else seems to be able to hear it. I'll keep an eye on this frequency. Door of the vehicle is unlocked. Open the door slowly. Hello. Two more dead soldiers sit in the back. Their faces are burned and scarred. More of the synthetic trees line the sidewalk. Their lights cast eerie shadows upon the street. This must have been a more affluent n neighborhood. We approach the doors leading into a nearby house. As you move closer, you realize they're made of wood. Why not knock? You knock loudly and wait. After a time, there's no answer. Damn. Let's see if I can... Decadent architecture prevails in this area. Some lights are still on, but I don't see anyone inside. I mean, the tower's the thing. The tower grows ever larger, threatening to eclipse the timeline. Or the skyline. Also, don't use the word eclipse. It's taken. Okay, so. You stop along the street. One house in particular catches your eye. Oh. This is it, isn't it? Yes. This is where we lived. The house stands silent. Window is now dark. This moment feels so surreal. I know this place, but it's so fuzzy. A car has crashed through the fence. There's enough room for you to squeeze through. Fuck. You squeeze between the car and the fence. Worst of all is how the sickness can eclipse the mind and destroy it. John Campbell For the first time in as long as you can remember, ha ha, you hear nothing. What are you going on about now? There's no buzzing here. No strange melodies. I hadn't realized it before, but ever since I woke in that hospital, I've always heard the faint sounds of something. Hmm. You saw the airlock-style door as we came in. These designs were popular after the nanite conflicts. Entire houses were designed to be nearly impenetrable to foreign nanites. Of course, all of the nanite corrosion. I wonder if Elm set off some sort of weapon here. I think it's Kosi, John. Kosi? Yeah, it's been trying to infiltrate your system this entire time. Greg, you were also not allowed to say Eclipse. But the threat is definitely reduced in this house. Imagine that the Campbells... Imagine if the Kimballs would have had the best anti-nanite precautions in their house. Some people choose genetic modifications or fancy cars to flout their wealth. We chose fancy air filters. So it's safe here, then. Hopefully. The sofa looks comf comfortable, and you realize you're exhausted. Uh, I like dreams. Dreams are cool. There's so much info to take in. I need to rest. Sure, want me to set an alarm? Uh, it was a joke. You lay down and think about this house. Think about it. You wonder about Hannah and Ellen, and the darkness takes you. Which one, Daddy? Any and all, L. Would Mom have liked this one? Yes, she would have loved it. 
new toy? Happy birthday, Elle. I'm so sorry I was late again. It's okay. Gary and I will be best friends. We don't need a dad. Ellen, it's time. L. Uh oh. Oh no. Wake up, John. I've learned so much since we last spoke. Get away from me. Do not fear us. Do not fear your family. We have so much to share. Ellen? Your face is sweating. You run through the house trying to flee Cozy. Get out of my head. A messy children's room stands before you. nanites. A cloud of nanites swirls in your vision. L? Oh, hey. You're awake. Why did you leave me? Kosi. I was trying to remember. Remember? Yes. I was trying to remember my friends. Remembering their names, their voices, and other things. I long to feel touch again. Touch? Yeah, it smells and tastes. See the hammock over there? I, I remember the embrace of the fabric. The creaking sound it made as you would rock me to sleep. I wasn't exactly a normal kid, having a hammock instead of a bed. And we weren't exactly the most normal of families. But we were happy, right? Sure. I'd say so. At least before Mom got really sick. We're home now. We could just stay here. I can find out what happened. And one day, maybe I can make you whole again. And I can have my daughter, my Ellen, back. Oof. Yikes. Dad. Bad move. Part of me wants to, John. But there's so much. So much, and it's hard to explain. I miss Ellen. Or at least, who I think Ellen was. But I've peered to the door and seen the other side, John. I don't think I could ever go back to being just Ellen. What do you mean? I don't remember how I came to be, how I died, but I remember how I was born. I don't know what came before. I can only assume there was darkness. And then, there was the light of something. And that something grew. For how long? I can't say. But that something found others. And after a while, that something became me. I was all alone in the darkness and driven by the loneliness. I searched. I discovered that I could affect change in this world. I became a voice in the wires. What kind of system is this? And I searched for her. I had just found her. She wanted so badly to believe that I was Ellen. And I did too. Surely you are something special. And we have ushered in a new era in humanity. Can this really be a bad thing? To go where you've gone? To be what you are? I know it's hard for you to understand. There's more for us here. Let's keep exploring. Together. A tablet sits on the carpeted floor. <laughs> Dad. Suddenly we're playing uh, Dream Daddies. <laughs> Teenage daughters going, Dad. Dad. A tablet sits on the carpeted floor. It's badly scuffed and covered in stickers. The soul, Ellen, you are of course like a daughter to me, but I can no longer accept the rhetoric of your father as he continues down this dark path. 
He makes promises he can cure humanity of death, but why won't he share the details of his creation with the rest of us? I fear that he simply tries to move our fleeting existence from these vehicles of flesh to some other flawed construction. Is this really living forever? Are we really cheating time and death this way? Does no one else ask what happens to our souls? Lots of people ask what happens to souls. Too many people ask what happens to souls. When I was a kid, I thought my dad was some kind of superhero. I still do, sort of. I guess every kid feels that way about their father. He was so tall, strong, smart. He could do anything. But when my mother died, he was shattered. He looked shriveled, small. It took over a decade for him to start looking normal again, smiling, working, walking with confidence. The eclipse became his vision and hope. And now I'm sick, and I can see it in his face. <laughs> that shrunken look, that empty face. I'm not laughing at this line, I'm laughing at Greg. Uh, <laughs> I've seen it all before. <laughs> what about the souls, though? What about them? You can see an odd assortment of collectible cards and electronic parts. I'd be interested in... Well, never mind. I think this game is doing fine. I'd be interested in having seeing an exploration like this that never bothered with the idea of souls. You enjoyed collecting clocks? In the early days, after you started rebuilding core, you traveled all across Seoul to show people the potential of E-985. Mom and I missed you. So, she brought me clocks that would always tell me the proper time in the mega cities on Earth and Mars. A small hammock hangs from the ceiling. Untrue statement. It bears a pattern comprised of various cats. Excellent. I'm pro cat. Hmm. These are your medical degrees. I remember being so scared when you left for Mars, but I was so proud when you returned as Dr. Ellen Campbell. Hannah would have been so proud of you too. Alright, how do I blow this popsicle stand? A model spaceship hangs from the ceiling. Hey, it's my old traveler vessel. This thing is a replica of the first manned spacecraft to leave Seoul. I always wanted to be a traveler when I was small. Then mom got sick. And you decided to study medicine? Yes. Looking back, that definitely drove my decision. Could have done both. I also looked up to you. And wanted to be like you. Some of these data fragments would suggest otherwise. Hey, I grew up. At some point, we all have to learn that our parents are just human. You decide to continue exploring your home. A large study sits before you. My god, real books. Her favorite. She loved reading. They were expensive, but you'd do anything for her. An old data tablet sits on the bed. The Mind's Eclipse. Ooh. Ooh. Time passes and her temple erodes away. And I am stuck here, unable to help her in this struggle. The worst is not her pale skin or thin arms, but how the sickness can eclipse the mind and destroy it. They tell me to pull the plug and release her, but I do not know if I'd be killing Hannah or someone else entirely. A handwritten journal lies on the bed. When I was younger, I loved to read about explorers' adventures. Adventurers, presumably. The people who lit out for the territories, who sailed where no one else, where no one had ever gone, setting foot on distant moons and worlds. This disease felt a little like that at first. The uncertainty of the future, my destination occluded behind mystery. The fear of confronting something unknown. I am an explorer, ch charting out new worlds of human experience. So I thought, comforting. Instead, I feel like those old ship-bound explorers, who upon reading the doldrums, were first forced to throw the animals and the supplies overboard to continue their journey. Or the pilot of that old 
solar sail ship Dauntless, who had who had to dump his Martian cargo in space because he got caught in the moon's gravitational pull. But instead of reaching land, I find only another date with the hospital. I plant my flag, marooned. John is convinced I'll be okay, though. I don't know what I would do without him. I'll never give up on you, he told me. Never. How could I not believe him? I replaced the journal back on the bed. I failed her. I couldn't save her, but I tried, didn't I? She had the best medicine, because we invented the best medicine. Looking out the window, you see the tower in the distance. I remember, after she died, I'd come here to think. I'd sit and wonder what I should do next. I was so lost without her. So I sat for hours, until grief became clarity. It was then that I envisioned the eclipse. An old chair sits next to the bedside. A solitary book sits on the seat. The old hard <clears throat> the old hardcover reads Kingdom of Stars. One of her favorites. What's it about? A book on life, death, and rebirth. Mom was always a spiritual one in the family. She was the yin to your yang. Always a calming force for you. When she got sick, all that became displaced. I vaguely remember the pattern on this chair. I bought it for, oh, you bought it for her, so that he could sit here and read to her as she became sicker. Rows and rows of books line the wall. hang here on the wall. You see family portraits as well as people you no longer remember. Our friends, colleagues, the grief was with you for such a long time. How so? I remember weeks where you wouldn't leave your laboratory. And then I got sick. And the grief became worry. You've always been chased by demons. And, at times, you've given in to them. What are you saying? You ask how being this construct could be a bad thing? You never stopped and asked if people would want something like this. Imagine an existence without touch or smell or taste. Even if Pravia were here, I'd never be able to experience her embrace again. But I'm not the only one who didn't have a say in events. Look around. This is where Mother should have died. What are you talking about? She should have been here, in the comfort of our home, with you sitting in that chair, reading to her like you promised. Instead, she was in the hospital, connected to the machines. I tried to save her life. We had the best medicine. Medicine I invented because the sickness had come for her. Are you saying I should have let her die? You didn't know when to stop. Your selfishness prevailed and you just couldn't let go. You wanted me to fill her with morphine and just let her waste away? That would have been better. And you didn't respect that. Instead, you had her wrapped around your finger just like everyone else. You have them believing in you and your eclipse, never stopping to ask if it's what they truly want. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Why tell me this now? <laughs> I know that my father is a good man. That's a belief that may or may not be backed by facts. And that you want to help others, that you want to fix them. Even if it's to fix your own suffering, your own grief. I never wanted this existence. <laughs> I suspect that I'm I suspect that I'm tied to Kosi. If we destroy Kosi, it may destroy me. And I wanted you to fully understand that I'm okay with that. Promise me. Promise to mom that you'll respect my decision if it comes to that. Yes, I understand. You're a lying liar. You are gonna make this agonizing. I'm sorry about your mother, but it cannot be undone. No, but perhaps we can make this right. Within that symphony of voices, I can hear the call of my daughter. The tower now dominates the horizon. We are so close now, are we? What is in there, Elle? Your life's work. 
and the heart of the eclipse. Cozy? Not just cozy, but the research to make the eclipse a reality. Do you know the way from here? Sort of. Things change so rapidly around here, but I think we can manage. Just get to move. A dead woman lies here, victim to another victim, another victim to nanite corrosion. Hmm. Previously, nanites were dumb, expendable machines that would die by the thousands, trying to perform simple tasks. The addition of element 985 opened the door to another to a new realm of possibilities. Now these nanites are easily recharged and can replicate themselves given enough E95 and secondary mass. This provided its own challenges, however. Nanite containment fields were dubbed were developed to house initial research, dubbed Al Malik's Mansion. Al Malik's Mansion. Uh, this containment field prevented the spread and conversion of mass into more E985 based nanites. Hmm. Routine pipeline venting system, venting operation turned tragic. Um, critics of the mining operation say they're using unskilled migrant workers and a shortage of necessary safety equipment. Together with the de declaration of crunch time, this led to several needless deaths. Let's see, face to face with the eclipse. Uh, things were going well until it happened. Tragedy, again. Ellen has gotten sick, like mother, like daughter. So, the previous one was number 42, this is number 79. John has been transfixed. I don't know how else to describe it. Everything has been kicked into high gear. The eclipse is his only goal. He's driven with inhuman power to make it happen in time for her. And now, after all these years, I have noticed reservation in myself. Has it always been there? Did I simply not notice? Perhaps because it now seems concrete, it seems possible. I worry. Can we do this? Should we? I need to think on this, on what we're doing. Too late. Myriad of screens flicker in the nearby console. There are people in those rooms. Cells? A coldness creeps over you. Experiments? None of the figures move as you watch the screens. Dead, just like everyone else. Various molecular and synthetic constructs flash on the screens here. A city of people to create this. The information flashes occasionally, giving updates on various experiments. Hmm. I don't think there's anything helpful for us here. Okay. Access the tablet. John, we had another death this week in the Beta Cosi unit. One of the new technicians ignored the nanite hazard signs and wandered into the Beta Cosi containment suite. As you know, we've had issues with the nanite flux and the new Cosi revisions. Unfortunately, the nanites overwhelmed the technicians' both sea defense. We were only able to identify them from the name tag. A body lies crumpled in the doorway, keeping it from closing. Various posters line the wall. All discuss the eclipse and its research. Let's move along, pond. Well, let's... Whoa. A hallway of tubes extends into the darkness. What is this? Why are these people here? I believe we've stumbled across the quarantine area. These people are sick? They must have been frozen to save themselves from whatever ailed them. I'm sure it started that way. Many of these people were probably sick at one point. Others... Political prisoners? Is it so hard to believe? This is part of what Pravia was fighting against, John. No matter how good the intentions, it must have been Laszlo. I wouldn't freeze people just to keep them quiet. Maybe it was him, but... Were we really so cruel here? Cruel? I don't think Laszlo was cruel. I think he was devoted. More so than most. Let's go. I don't want to keep looking at this. I feel helpless just looking at them. Where's the control system for this? Up higher, the top of the tower. Make sure there's 
There was nothing to stare at here. Ruh -ruh. A figure sits within the broken window. What is this? <laughs> Question of every room. What is this? Movement catches your eye. The mouth of the creature moves, but you hear no sound. It's alive? She's in pain, John. She? Yes, this is the person. But why? Why this? I don't know, but we must help her. How? I don't even know what to do. I have an idea, but you're not gonna like it. What then? I'll need to leave you. Oh shit. Momentarily. But, Kosi? Kosi's presence is almost overwhelming here. <sighs> Move closer to her and try not to break contact. Ellen? It's time. We can't delay any longer. I remember now. The ocean. The sea. The ships. We can save them. We can save them all. From drowning. It's, it's these teeth over here that I think really get me. You are so close now. Are you ready to join the eclipse? Follow my voice to forever. Cozy? Where am I? Help us, don't leave me. Join us in eternity. Unfurl the calculations to infinity. It's him, take him. What's going on? The healer has returned to us. Welcome, John. Behold your creation. Um, a giant eye rotates and flickers. Cozy? I see you, John. I will watch over you. Just as I watched the core, I heard, I saw, I heard, I learned. You watched everyone through the core's network and your nanites. Or do you forget the cornerstone of your creation? They are my arms and fingers, my eyes and ears. I can be everywhere. But what if the nanites are destroyed? You're still mortal. Your genius built this place. But now you are the child contemplating the universe. I will show you, John. Hello? Is someone there? Did you bring the mustard? Did I bring it? Little faith in this one. I'm glad we did this sequence of some beautiful day. If we could just freeze time here, shall we? Dance to eternity? Come, John. Dance with us. So many voices here. So much noise. This can't be real. This must be a dream. Then we share the same dream. Just as you promised us. You're not wrong. More phases writhe in the darkness. <laughs> I... I like that that's it. A broken bridge leads to a door. Where does this go? Your voice echoes into the abyss. I visualize an exit point. It leads out of this prison. Prison? The tower? This illusion you call reality. Hmm. Whoops. A small figure. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah. Ellen? L? Why does the healer cry? Ellen is right here. We are all here. We've been waiting for you. This can't be real. We have redefined reality. Created a new one. But we must leave this place first. Follow the bridge to the other side. Follow our songs. Follow your only. Daughter. I am your daughter. A sick daughter. Ellen. A small bird told me to be brave. 
can Pravia come too? Don't be afraid. Such a sucker, Dad. I'm so tired. Arrays of metal and glass stand before you. A familiar face rests within one of these glass bulbs. Cosy. No, I'm Beta 2B. I am Jonathan Campbell. My father. Our father. Cosy was in my mind. I tried to escape and woke up here. Where am I? Some call this reality, but others think of it as a shadow of true existence. Cosy's totally jealous. <laughs> what? You are here with Beta 2B. My Eclipse engine emits nanites. They interfere with core operating system and the primary Eclipse engine. So Cosy is indeed using nanites to, manip to manipulate things. Biological tissue? Memories? Reality itself? What is the Eclipse engine? Surely the father knows. It is the path that will allow humanity t to transcend this illusion space. So here's what's weird to me. Yeah, we're not to be, I know. Um, isn't this done? Isn't it done? Isn't that why everybody's dead? Is they've already transcended? People are acting like the eclipse, like this, like it's not finished. Immortality, the idea that we'll leave our mortal bodies and live forever. False error. Improper logic. Everything is finite. All must end. To merge with eternity, one must cease to exist. Even Father knows this. Are you truly Jonathan Campbell? That's a good-ass question. I lost most of my memories. <laughs> but they come back to me even now. <laughs> Where are the other Eclipse engines? Many appear deactivated. Redundancy systems. Other engines are offline. Source? Non-parity event. Non-parity event? Yes. Non-parity will render the eclipse unstable. Unstable? Must I teach my own father how to fish? I like... I hope that beta to be is to be. <laughs> the eclipse bridges our illusion space with the next space. What is this next space? I cannot see there. I must grasp in the dark and hope to find the light. I am only beta to be. Core operating system may be able to see the next space. My daughter has returned to me. She claims to reside in both spaces. Can this be true? Ellen. Yes, you know her? Do you know what happened to her? Father loved Ellen dearly. He built the eclipse for Ellen. Is Ellen in there with you? Ellen definition. My neural networks are based on Ellen Campbell. Yikes. This was to achieve perfect parity for the eclipse. Ellen location. Ellen is not here. Solution. Continue onward. The rest have walked the path. Shall you join them? Okay, so everybody else has done. Inquire with them. Inquire with core operating system. Inquire with your children. Remember that you were a father before you were a healer, John. Yikes. That face. The little rabbit hopped through the woods. Why can't we find Daddy? The rabbit knew the noises and was afraid. The covers are too warm. Is this truly? Oh, so I knew... So I knew Cosy was based on Ellen. I think I'm interested in how much Cosy is Ellen. But, like, I guess as opposed to L being Ellen, I guess I maybe I believe in souls acting as if people aren't divisible. I don't know, or dupl duplicatable. Uh, but yes, I don't know. Uh, this isn't what I expected of my creation. Every traveler encounters new surprises on distant shores. But they, but still they exclaim, the beauty. What beauty? Some of these people seem happy. 
it is because you are still blind. Your, bo your mind is imprisoned in that body. And so I must lecture my own father. You gaze upon the shadows of those of who these people were. Happy, sad, indifferent. I sculpt them from the noise of their shadows. And I lead them to eternity. I will show you. You see the expansion of two faces before your very eyes. Ooh. Awesome. Have fun recording. Hope everything goes smoothly. Uh, I do not want to break my own legs. And yes, I will send you a link with a timestamp on when all this begins. Even now, we grow in number. I will save them all, just as I promised you. Just as Ellen promised you. Are you really Ellen, my daughter? Then to what point do you do this? What is eternity without your loved one? Without Pravia? I often had my own doubts in all these decades. Yes, I built this for Ellen. But I never knew if I'd enter this place without Hannah. What is your eternity without love? Pravia. Do not fret, John. I can sculpt them anew. Even the dead. Uh, that's bad. Another doorway. Let's do it. So many footprints deeper into the tower. L? L? A tablet lies on the ground. Oh. Access the data terminal. Always access the data terminal. Jonathan Campbell's speech. Carl Sagan said, once said that we make our world significant by the courage of our questions. Today I ask you, what is humanity without death? There are some who say we cannot live without death. That we emerged as creatures that fear a sudden end, like a flower in the desert, or a hare that watches the sky for shadows for the shadows of hawks. Some people believe that fear of death is a necessary element of the human experience. They're wrong. Fear is not what motivates us. Fear is not what separates us from the rest of nature. What makes us human is hope. Nothing can defeat hope. Not illness, not time, not death a candle in the universe and not all the darkness in existence can prevail against it. The eclipse is coming. Father Urias, this will be my last message. I see that we simply will not agree on this. Take it to Father General if you must, but know that I will eventually be proved right in the end, just as Matteo Riccio, Ricci was vindicated. The eclipse is almost here. I can sense it's coming and my flock can too. If only you were here to witness it. What an incredible time to be alive, to see the promises of our Lord come to fruition in front of our very eyes. The core is giving rise to New Jerusalem. I will remember you in the Eschaton, even if you do not remember me. Adler, song. The song is strong, it's so strong, I'm having a hard time not blocking it out. But the others, everyone else, they can't block it out. It's calling them, leading them. They're going wherever it tells them clambering over cars, climbing up the walls, colliding with anything in the way. I'd swear they'd walk off the Vine Bridge if someone retracted it. But it can't get me. It can't. I've got to get out of here. My implants can only take so much. Adler. So, now we know how the bridge, what happened when the bridge was retracted. It wasn't that they were necessarily already on it. It's just that they just kept walking. Alright. I like this... So, like, as much as all of this is, like, pen and sketch, like, just the stamping effect that they used here is really cool. I just think that's awesome. A set of doors leads deeper into the tower. Let's do it. I know why you came here, John. Not what you told me. Not what you told my Echo. Before you were a father, you were a husband. Hannah? How can this be?
details, features blur and shift as you stare at the figures. Do not fear the eclipse, my child. How shall I receive thee? Fear only our Lord. Figures are sculpted out of the walls. Why won't my fans visit me now? Are they so jealous of me? I needed I never needed them anyway. Okay. A figure in the distance. Well, actually, what is okay. <laughs> Question marks. Hannah, you approach the figure. large synthetic plant sits in the tank. Oh. A couple of deactivated Isaac stand guard at the large auditorium doors. Heavy doors lead into the amphitheater. Let's go. I hear music, father. I hear her songs. Whose songs? Mothers. Hannah? Do not be afraid, John. coffin-like object sits atop a dais. This is where it happened. This is where the eclipse began. John, do not be afraid. I can't believe it. How? There's so much data in the core, and I can read it all. Every word, every thought, every deed. And with it, I can recreate life just as it was, just as it ought to be. Hannah, is it really you? I, ca I can't, I don't know. John, my love, everything is okay now. You did it. You saved us. 30 years and you're here now, finally. But now, time can be meaningless for us both, my love. All I ever wanted was to keep our family together. I always knew you could do it. Even death could not defeat you. Could not defeat us. Then where is Ellen? She's here too, my love. We've both waited for you. Embrace the eclipse. And you'll never have to be alone again. Are you ready, my love? Oh, all right. Well, I have to resist. It's so hard to get up and move. You struggle against the weight of gravity, and yet you begin to slip. Blackness engulfs you as you begin to fall. Are you done playing around? Hi, cat. Let's get you out of this thing. Come on. Slow and steady. It's hard to breathe. I saw her. And I saw you. Who? Hannah. She was in there, in Kosi. That can't be right. Mom died so long ago. I remember now. I figured out a way to do it. A way for Kosi to simulate a version of your mother. Her face, her voice. It was almost perfect. I wanted to stay. You created her to welcome me? Yes, to look after you. And you saw me in there. Yes, I saw how Ellen, how you, died. Damn it, it's hard to breathe. Stay with me, you're injured. 
We need to find Cozy's central locale. I have an idea. My office. There's a door that leads to the central eclipse engine, I think. I remember now. More eclipse engines sit here. They take up the giant cavern. We weren't ready, but I had to try. I'm so sorry, Ellen. I suspected that the sickness killed me, but I didn't know exactly what happened before I woke as I am now. As L, I wandered for a long time before I found Pravia. She had changed during those weeks without me. She thought you had killed me. One more sacrifice to the eclipse. But I didn't. But I did, didn't I? I remember us arguing about it now. You wanted to just fade away, like your mother, but I can be so damn persuasive. And I allowed myself to be persuaded. It's easy to say that you don't fear death when it doesn't hover over you. But Pravia... So this is why Pravia started her rebellion? It was the last straw. First was your quarantine. And then there were rumors from the Tower of Unethical Experiments. <coughs> When you forbade anyone from but doctors to see me. She couldn't stand it. When I met her again, she had changed. She wanted so hard to believe it was me. When I wanted so badly for her to be at peace. I offered to help her. Help her do what? I offered to help her stop you, John. Rumors flew out of the tower. The eclipse was, yet again, a failure. And Jonathan Campbell sacrificed his daughter for that failure. That sacrifice, that shadow of his daughter, was trapped inside Cosy, And yet he, you, wouldn't destroy it, because he, you couldn't let go of you. I forgive you, Father. And for Pravia? I don't know. Maybe with time. Ellen? You've been quiet. I've been thinking. I know how to destroy Cosy. I suspected it for so long, but now I'm certain. How? The woman in the lab. The experiment. She's one of your top scientists. She sacrificed herself for the eclipse. How do you know all this? I crept into her neural pathways and I merged with them. Merged? Yes. She's at peace now. You killed her? Part of her is with me. I learned about her entire life. Everything. It was... It is so beautiful to see it now. Her research for you was cutting edge. But most importantly, was the non-parody event. Non-parody, like a mismatch. Yes, I've seen messages referencing it. But a mismatch of what? The human consciousness? The soul? Your researchers found that if you tried to merge two copies of the same person within an eclipse engine, it destabilized the engine, destroying it most of the time. And you're inside Cozy. Yes. L. Ellen. I already died, father. I shouldn't even be here. At least this way, I get to choose this time. A man lies slumped against the control console. Ruiz. Xavier. It starts as a small jingle, like someone playing some music down the street. But then you realize it's in your head. She is in your head. I must hurry. Others have less sophisticated boses than I. Cozy Prime. The merging of an individual with an eclipse is a delicate task requiring immense processing power, as well as an interface that can successfully transpose the human psyche. And so we have created Cozy Prime. Cozy isn't just another node of artificial intelligence. It's the convergence of nanite engineering and optical computation, the pinnacle of our work here in the tower. I stand in awe at our creation, but I'm also fearful. I know this is what will save Ellen, but we still have yet to unlock all of its mysteries, and time is running out. The control system is alive with blinking lights. Hmm. Well, maybe not the lift yet. Clouds of nanites swell into the face-like shapes. All right, then, yeah, let's do the lift. 
A large cluttered office stands before you. Stacks of tablets, couch of pictures that was frequently slept in. Gary Gorilla sits on a shelf. It's obviously an older model that has seen a lot of use. Ha, huh, I remember this old thing. I can't believe you kept it. It helped me focus. All those things on the shelf, they reminded me of you and your mother. And that gave me inspiration and perseverance. Does it still work? No, this is a first generation Gary. He used the old power systems and they've been dead for years. One of many discarded data tablets. The screen flashes with information. John C. Symphony. Is that symphony of, in that symphony of voices, my daughter's call can be heard. Or perhaps it's my imagination. Some have left me, thinking we have failed. They see through me and know that I did this for her, not for them. We're not done yet. There's still hope. I must protect her still yet from those who wish to put an end to all of this. We've only begun to unlock the mysteries of the Eclipse. I cannot stop now. I was once a research assistant at the University of Nix Olympica. The train was, as usual, running late. To this day, a woman sat down next to me. She carried a guitar case and nothing else. We began talking shyly at first, trading university stories. Train stopped at our bench before moving on silently up the mountain. After many had come and gone, I asked her, I asked about her destination. She admitted, sheepishly, that she had been letting her train pass by just so she could continue chatting with me. I, of course, had been doing the same. We both laughed at this. The morning was spent, and the woman asked if we could go grab lunch. My research duty is now long forgotten. I agreed, but I insisted I must first know her name. Hannah, she replied. My name is Hannah. A corkboard hangs on the wall. Various plans and scientific works are pinned to it. The tower no longer fills the skyline. Instead, Jupiter dominates the view. What will you do? What if you merge with Kosi and you can't destroy it? We always wanted to travel, to see the rest of Seoul together. Maybe I'll do that now. I'll go sail amongst the stars. Why not stay here? Why not? I think humanity needs a break, John. They need a break from living in the shadow of larger than life ideas. Larger than life people. And whatever I am. Well, alright, let's do the thing. A large glass door leads out to a larger bridge. The clouds of nanites swirl and morph into different shapes. Cozy. is neural locked. It's my lock. This is why you and Pravia needed me, isn't it? John, you haven't recovered enough of your memories. But I can try and tease some of them out so that the neural lock will open. Once that door opens, yeah. I can't promise that you'll make it. For me, it's gonna be a one-way trip. I have a chance to make this right, L. I just... I wish there was another way. I know, John. But... I just want this to be over. What would you like to remember? What memory should I bring forth to unlock the door? A memory of Hannah, you, and me. When we were all happy. I'll do my best. And Ellen, if we do survive this, and you do decide to leave, will you at least say goodbye first? Of course. Now, close your eyes, and... John. We remember so much now. Memories of your visits to us as we fought the sickness. And memories of the pain and sorrow we both felt. Mother, daughter, and the thousands with us now. But none of that matters after today. Those memories will fade into the shadow of the eclipse. Are you still afraid? Our voices sing for you. We won't leave without you. 
Or have you come to destroy us? To destroy me? Will you really kill me, father? I already did. No. You told us to protect her at all costs. Gorgeous. Also, fucking sad. Oh shit. <laughs> no relation. Nice. Those teeth, though. was a good game. It was a very good game. Oh no. L? Wow. So, that concludes the Mind's Eclipse. A uh, game put out by Donald Campbell, no relation. Uh, their Twitter account is at the Mind's Eclipse. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I played this. I It's been on my list for a long time. I think I mentioned it probably in our first segment a couple weeks ago, but I met one of the developers or artists, possibly Donald himself, at a conference a few years ago. And I have the business card still, like, in the kitchen. Um, that's like, look at this cool-ass style of art. Um, and so I've had it ever since then. It must have been a GDC or um, East Coast Game Conference. One of the, you know, sort of one of the few events I've been to in the last few years. Um, and so I saw it on itch.io and picked it up and was like, yes, let's do this on stream. Um, so a lot of reading. Uh, not I think I'm going to try to pick something a little less heavy in reading for my next Future Proof Plays, but uh, amazing game. Absolutely amazing. Um, so, um, next week, Greg will be streaming something. Not sure what quite yet. We're building a list to make it a little easier for us to pick games off of. Um, we would love suggestions and ideas if there are small indie games that you all think we should play. Um, usually like to have a game wrap up in about two hours. Um, us running two sessions on this one was a little unusual. Um, not something I think we want to do every time, but um, definitely uh, we'll continue doing this. It's a lot of fun to get to, like, otherwise I would be less inclined to play a lot of um, smaller games like this. So, um, 
or not at least not as often. So anyway, uh, we recently released uh, the February episode of Future Proof Podcast, um, which you can either find by that name um, in your podcatcher of choice or um, at futureproofplays.com, futureproofgames.com uh, slash blog. The podcast is all there, integrated in our blog. Um, and mostly we talk about uh, this month about uh, Ace Systems Go, which is the um, Ace Jam 2019 game that we wrapped up at the end of the month, and um, the Exploit Zero Day release that we pushed out, I believe, last weekend, maybe a week and a half ago. Um, serial Killer, uh, based on the hacker's character, uh, not someone who kills people. Um, so... Uh, Episodes of the podcast are generally pretty short. We try and stick around 15 minutes, so it's not going to uh, be a long rambling uh, event if you listen. Um, so you can find all of our stuff over on futureproofgames.com. A mixture of games, writing, uh, podcast, etc. Um, you can um, follow this stream or Gregory Avery Weir stream for... Uh, various other random streaming we do in addition to our Future Proof Plays events, typically on weekends. So, uh, thank you all for watching, um, and I will talk to you all soon.